ones keep up the back and I'll be at the ones to make you jump, to make you jump up and dance, working to make this fun and to create this summer festivity and yet, we treat the Calexonians and pack men like dirt, all you be we worry worth, hey! Miss Fanny, you know Fanny from Booby Ali. In case of those of you who don't know Fanny, wishing Fanny happy birthday, and I want to also wish—I don't know—for those of you who follow me on Facebook, I do these features for July because, of course, you know July is undisputed the best month of the year. All right? Nobody dispute me with it. So, for the month, every day I've been doing a different feature, and today my feature is Auntie Madeline. Everybody from Point the Madeline, Madeline Shaw, Miss Donna Pickney, yes. Today is Don't Madeline's birthday and we are uh Madeline, when I'm finished, I'm going to come and check the bread paper. I know how old I am. So yeah, you're supposed to be older than me, but I see you pour some kind of fifty something today. And you don't look like you're no kind of fifty something. So I am telling you I'm doing a bread paper check and a challenge because you know them kind of old age there. Okay? You are spring chicken. You're closer down to me. Right, Madeline? I also wanna say no, she not come from point, but you know, yeah, fulfilling the great people. Mikael Brand, today is Mikael Brand's birthday also. And Mikael, sweetie pie, cheers to you. Long life, you know, everything, everything. Happy birthday. This is coming in from the reigning Pekong monarch. Guy, going to tell you about the Pekong monarch story when you and I start up. Yes, so you get an idea as to who's in studio with me today. Just saying that quickly. And today also has very special significance for me. 2014. One of the greatest Antiguans to have ever lived was buried on a day like today. You know? The joke was, you know, VC Bread was buried on July the 9th. You know that guy? Yeah. They buried VC Bread on my birthday. And then my uncle died. And they wanted to bury my uncle on my birthday. I was having none of that guy. <laughs> but they did it on July the 15th. So, so we never forget. I want to take two minutes and play this tune. Come down now. All right, all right then, what a lovely sound, what a lovely sound. Boy, come by the fins, and I'll give you some jam, but I'll give you my jam. Oh, God, you're going to get me come blow, oh, God, you're going to get me come blow. All right, papi, all right, papi, come. Papi, keep a rass in me, say you want to jam with me, and match up the festival, when you blow it, you go on. Yeah, now that goes. That was a tribute in memory of the legendary, the only. You know, he was a fisherman. He was a tour guide. He owned, he was one of the first persons in Antigua to own glass bottom boats. 
don't know how many of us know remember glass bottom boat days um he was a pan man one of the hell's gate fraternity he is i don't know if he ever played in halcyon now but listening to halcyon people you'll believe he played in halcyon you know all his children are from the halcyon posse and most importantly yes he was my uncle that's the most important thing <laughs> so <laughs> That was the whistle that he used to use to call me. Once I heard that whistle, I knew my uncle was coming. Ladies and gentlemen, and we're the ones today, I just wanted to do that intro to pay tribute to my uncle Papi. And it's actually a very good way to introduce my guest today. Because I know my guests know my uncle. I don't even want to know what stories they have together. I don't want to know today because we don't have time for them today. <laughs> but my guest today is... Guy, guy, guy what, what's your full name? Guy Alexander, Guy Alexander Yearwood. Oh, okay, it's nice and simple. My guest today is Guy Alexander Yearwood. I would call him a Renaissance man because Guy has been a man for all seasons. I know most people in Antigua would remember him quickly from politics, I think. And I have to do my intro before I ask him his questions by just sending him a message. I have a message for Guy from someone that I'm going to read the message and then I'm going to see if Guy can tell me who is it from. Because it's a very interesting one I got today. I said to someone today that my guest today would be Guy Yearwood. And the gentleman says, tell Guy for me that he's the best mediocre opening batsman I have ever seen. Guy, who's who, who, who said that? A Clement. No. Yeah. Oh, wait, is more than one somebody disturb you like that? No, no. You That's Mr. Murdoch. <laughs> Oh, Colin, Colin, yes. Colin no. yes. that's my good friend. Man. Can, make sure you can hear, guys. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. Colin is my good friend. Yes, so guy, Colin Murdoch, Mr. Murdoch, Ambassador Colin Murdoch says yes. to tell you, opening earlier, you're the best mediocre batsman he's ever seen, but you are the best at analyzing any batsman he's ever known. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> All right. he, played, he played for our team, played for St. John's. Mm -hmm. He was an off spinner and a secretary. Yeah, but today's not about Colin. Today's about you. No, I know that, but I'm, I'm not saying Colin. He's my good friend. We know this. Yeah. So, Guy, mm. earlier, <clears throat> tell us about your early background. Who are your people? Where you come from? Oh, well, we say locally, Pata, but, you know, Pata's village. Oh, you're one of them people from the Obi place? Well, okay, go ahead. I'm half Freeland. My mother was a Freeland and Yearwood. My father was a Yearwood. Okay. So, I'm, um, you know, half and half. And you come from big family man, Yearwood and Freeland. And Freeland. Okay. And tell us your memories of growing up in Potters. Well, I attended the Potters Government School mm -hmm. and the Moravian Church. Yes, I can hear you. The Moravian Church. Mm, go ahead. And we used to the only the only day that we never go to the Moravian Church was Tuesday. Sunday morning, 11 o'clock. Church? Yeah. Sunday school, 2 o'clock. Sunday night, 7 o'clock. And we used to come to church early to, to go to the Catholic church when Father Vanaka was there. And Monday mm -hmm. was uh, Monday night at Moravian. Tuesday was free. Wednesday was fellowship. Thursday was choir practice. And Friday was confirmation. Saturday, we still have to clean the churchyard and clean the church. And just in time to go back to Sunday to start. Just in time, yes. So that means you, you had plenty of blessings growing up? Well, I'll tell you, but when we became 16, remember about the poopy? Right now, he, he's sick in the hospital, not doing too well. And in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And we told Daddy that, look, we have enough of the church. What? Wait, no. Mommy said, I a heathen like I a white said I have family. <laughs> Daddy said the children and them have enough of this church in my every minute, you know what I mean? But we just still go about to tell you we couldn't wait to be confirmed so we can go when we you know when we wanted to go. Not that we were forced to go. And you know when they go on Sundays, Sunday school, you come home, you have to set the golden text before you touch the food. How were you with the golden text? Well, give the joke. My brother Poopy, the same one that is sick. Mm -hmm. He he used to say Jesus wept. So that was the golden we, we, text. That was his. Mine was Jesus advanced in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Every mom said at every Sunday the same thing. So she went and called 
the gold, the Sunday school teacher who was living on the other side over by Mary them house, Mary them bought the land. And she said, no, that is what they come home and tell you every Sunday. We have a different goal, a long time. <laughs> we, <laughs> you know, so you, we had to, because you, you can't touch your food no matter how hungry you were. And every Sunday you go home with the same golden text. Yeah, and poor because for a while. Jesus wept. And, and until you know we had to go say the right thing. And then what happened? I'm just curious. Well, well, what happened when she figured out that y'all? Didn't well, mommy, no, she gave us the food, but she never hit us much, you know. Now and then, when she and daddy had a problem, she would hit us with a turn stick. He never hit us. Cause he always said that the Bible said, "Spare not the rod and spoil the child." Mm. He said the rod can be a mouth. You know what I mean? The, the leather the and, the, okay. and the stick. He said, mm -hmm. then the rod can be a mouth. Mm -hmm. And when he said, you know, you're not going outside tonight. Mm -hmm. you saw, I still remember when, when JJ, destroyer, uncle JJ, that he, he, his son right has. Okay. Jeff. Mm -hmm. When JJ was the Calypso King in Potters and a fellow called Charles, Charles Jeff, he's a taxi man. He's still alive down at uh, Market. Mm -hmm. He was. Joe was Lord Barrel, and he was Lord Red Heron Box. And then they also have commission in front of our yard up there. Mm -hmm. Here, and destroy be them. After that, JJ retired. How old were these people when they were retiring? No, they were young. We were young. That's what I'm figuring, because you said but man, retire. Destroy, run them, run them out of the. Run them out of the, the arena. Run them out of the arena. So y'all used to have like Calypso competition in the village. Listen to me. This why bad long time, you know. <laughs> this why can can make Calypso. One time they threatened him to take him to the to the court as a, a song called Tango. I remember. You know what the Tango thing is? That's not a, the um the plant for apiary. No, 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 no. Not that, no, that was tango. Oh. George would tell it. George Murray would tell about tango. 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 When, tango. When cattle. What is that? He, he had a song with it. When the cattle sick and they and they die, they would go and burn oh, them. Oh yes. And cut up the meat. Mm -hmm. You know. I remember hearing about that in and, a documentary and, or something. And he put he put put it in song boy. A lot of people tried to take him to court. Why? Because they didn't want people to know that's what they used to Nothing do. Nothing got, oh, he put in people's name who never eat tango. Pennyman, Pennyman, and those guys, Sai, you know, Sai, who was of them dogs around St. John's? Sai Hall, you know, my man, uh, Sai Hall, I was about 40 dogs walking around St. John's, up to now. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sai, he from Potters. Mm -hmm. And what he was trying to say that he never No, ate. no, 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 Sai and them, they don't care, Sai and them, Sai was a strong, still a strong man, you know. Petra, if I go and cross the road and I'm in my car, so I walk with dog. And I say, Sai, he don't look back. He say, it's one of them boys with Josephine. Which one? Talk? He said, no. He say, poopy? I said, no. no. He said, well, have a bit of cricketer. Oh, he, oh. he said, come on, ten dollars. Me bowl enough ball for, uh, to you. I bowl enough ball to you. He, he don't look back to see me. He don't, he, he know my voice. He said, is that your sister? Because she, you know, she was a little girl. And Sai, I gave him the tender. And in terms of his side, I said, Coco. He had a mock them, we call him Coco. I said, Coco. He, he don't look back. Mm -hmm. He just stop. I said, yeah, boy, Jose doesn't give me the, give me the five or the tender. <laughs> so, guy. So, we was up in the village with those type of persons. Oh, okay. So, you had a very entertaining. Very entertaining. Mm -hmm. This story, let me tell you. We used to live on the top part of the village, close to the school. Close to the school that we know now? Yes. Right. Same mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And when here we used to go up there, go look cane with you know sugar cane and so on. We had the cane thing. We leave them there, mm -hmm. even though it's not us. You know, when we go to school Monday morning, Miss Joshua get Mac in with his teacher Mac, and we had to go clean up or you know, something. In awesome people who once you operated from the top part of the of the village, mm -hmm. you had to go clean up. Why? Because it was assumed that one of y'all. Of course. Oh, and we used to go in the village and and, and go on. You hear black man? They had a song called. The, the, the panting down the muggy, mm -hmm. a lady called muggy, she had some fruit trees in the yard, mm -hmm. but she believed in darkness. She had a, a cross dog, and she would be there, and the boy would go and chuck the pebbles on the rope, gap, gap, and she pulled in the window, and the boy would go with a stick and just knock the dog and go and take out the guineas and us, you know what I mean? And she would feel that... She now opened the window. Oh, so once they throw the stones... She feel the jumbi. And so they sh that means and, you know, they paddles, have the yard. People feel a palace. People live in Jumbi. 
we're going to, I have to ask you, this 99 Jumbi story, you know where that come, came from? L listen to me. I'm asking if you know where it came from. Listen to me, I don't know where it came from, but let me tell you something. The, the amount of people that we mock and go in the yard and, t and take up sauce up on them thing and they say they're going to thing, I wouldn't be here today. Destroying most of our guys wouldn't be here today. If the, if, if the obvious story was real. It was real. Because they want the people things that they don't take up. Yeah. So, sap, golden apple, sugar apple. But that's just having fruits. Fruits? <laughs> Lots of me, it's stealing, you know. You go in the people them yard, you, you, them guys you, you used to go and look, go off a stick, and somebody hit you with a go off a stick, hit you hard, you know. Mm -hmm. And you just bang the dog on them, and you, you go and take away one, so, sap, mango, you know what I mean? And something in the tie of vial in the tree. I remember a time a lady called Watt, right by the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. She had just some fruit tree up there. Mm -hmm. And the fellow called John Harley, he's dead now. Famous John Harley from Putters. And, and John Harley said, Look, I want to see what they have in them vial. And he did it out at Belmont with a man from farm that they call Mangoose. Mm -hmm. John go up there and say, Hey, come. Cooper's dip. Boy, when I go out, clean the mango tree. <laughs> and Ward go and say, Josephine, tell the boys and them, okay, don't want some mango out. Come. Now follow John. We used to have fun. Petra, you know what I, I used to look forward to? Christmas time when we used to go and sing carols. First place we used to go, up by Mikey Terrell Father, right where Panash practice. That's on the main road. Told where the police go, right yes. by the corner there. Mm -hmm. He, he, he had a big dog, but then guys walk with a stick. Mm -hmm. The dog take the dog, dog on inside, go inside and you sing around. Somewhere before you reach there, they open the door and those days twenty that was plenty of money. They say, Okay, you see if I have a Merry Christmas, we leave one day and we got more the short. When he started to sing, the door open, thirty dollar for it. And then there's plenty after that I don't know. We're not singing around again, you know. The next time you go sing around. And what is a bit of fun when you you're singing to Local people from the village, mm -hmm. then I open in the city. Oh, we're not getting much. So I said, John, come. John started to say, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. Mm -hmm. If not a penny, hate me will do. If not, hate me, but in this language, mm -hmm. are you? Oh, Lord. And then he, he see the window open, I see water. Come. <laughs> 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 but you deserve the water if I hey, look, the people. Em. No, look, look, oh. we saw, we saw for that part, you know. Go out to the, the dam with Humphreys and some from Sevi Farm. Mm -hmm. Just go there and swim and look Cali and yeah. That's the because the dam is between the, the West Dam, yeah. Part of the Sevi Farm. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And we tell you they had a, a twenty foot sign pole. When I said the, the water going is much said fourteen feet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we should go by Luke and some by the, the lead mm -hmm. to, to 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 catch the, the eel. Mm -hmm. uh, the carry the thing way down. Yeah, by a long time from Luke and Sons. Mm -hmm. And then we used to to have, a, here I call it now catfish. We used to call it bottom bow. Same fish. Catfish? Catfish, yeah. This catfish that they sell here, catfish. The, those two dams had a lot of it. But okay. we used to call it bottom bow. People from Seaver Farm, Humphreyson, Hillary, and so on. I don't know if you want go. to ask why that name. Uh, well, I don't know, but that's why we had to call it bottom bow, nice fish. You know I me, mean? we used to go and, and the big Cali. Yes. yes and, and you know, we used to get the fun too. F those fullers, Mikey Tyrrell, they say he's dead. Mm -hmm. Mikey Tyrrell, mm -hmm. they have horses. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Fuller and the lawyer and Mikey trade and come with horses and come with potters. And we go there. And I, I, I always tell, tell the doctor, you see, you're all the prejudice, you know. You'll pick up me and Poopy and Will's you ride on the horse. You're just a good thing. Them and we be, go. So you all the light skin ones. Right, right. <laughs> Boy, I know the doc. You, you know, he give it the the royal. Some sentences. You know, yes. you, you know, he give it the royal. He say, you and your brother Robin, I t I left Barley with empty treasury. <laughs> Those type of things he tell me, but you know, he's a good friend. But when he we go there, and, we, and they show the bird and them, you know, so Terrell used to sell the bird gun. And you crank them, pow, they go the the dock, the coot and so on. Mm -hmm. They also have the crocodile, but we pick them up and so on. And then guys said, Tal, all we get in is a little horse, right? We want some more than that. Mm -hmm. So so we decided, we came with some, and daddy said, when you all go by the dam, don't go swim around the, 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 the what, what they call the thing, my whole lot, the, the, the other French weed. 
no, no, no. Panweed. Okay. Because you'll drown. Quite a few people drown out there. You get tied up in, in the pan. In the pan. Oh, you get tangled up. So in when here they go bam and they go there, we tell full of them. We not going in there. When we go back home, we drop and we go to our cocks back and out, bringing the birds that they, they leave there. And I, the last time I, I saw Dr. Fuller, I said, Dr. Fuller, he said, Look, you and your brother poop in them eyes, that's teeth, teeth out, burden. <laughs> you know, those full of people. But we still have fun with you, you know what I mean? I used to get plenty of trouble. Listen to me. Petra, Trouble. Petra, you know, you, you remember? David Vance, he's dead, and Kenneth George is dead. They used to work at Tomlinson's. Mm -hmm. And they used to bring the car, part of before Freedom closed the, the pond. We, we used to call it Nickel Pond. Okay. When you go up there, when you were small, you come by your, by your godmother, Mary. The pond was a. Uh, yes, estate. I've known guy from almost since about. Ken, smart and Ken, when them, we just say, Ken, leave the care, and David. David had a. A, a, a A track play in the his guy was aged 25, 71. Mm -hmm. The first one before he had 773. Mm -hmm. And David, well, he don't put nothing on, on the thing, but we just play the thing. And the other day, the lady died. My boy Lollipop, you know the song there? We used to play the song that it, David said, Oh, Lord, I have, I got killed it, kill the song. When I come back from work out, Tomlinson, Kenwick say, How much have for y'all? They say, Well, whoever pairs. Cash shining, or we use a pan water with, you know, buy a a a, a shampoo. Don't look on sun. Cut it in two. Have like a bucket and wash down the care. Can you pull out? Can you just pull out this thing and say, come show you all. You see where I leave the care? Close to full. You see where the care is now? Below half. That yard pay. That mean you all drive on the care. car. But we never carried on the on the on the government road. So where y'all took the car? Round the path is, is a big field there, but by the by, by the field there. In front of Wilfred, there that big field. Drive the car around, you can't take it on the road. I don't tell you, don't take the car there. So we never get pay, but we get the ride. We learn to drive and so on. This is why my brother Poop in and could drive so well. And those guys in Potters could drive well. Because how they take the man car. Oh, and he, yeah. Oh. He tell you, we so, look, Potters was fun growing up. You remember when they had the, the drum being nicey belly? Guy, you, when it come from Potter. You ever heard of that? I don't remember. Tell me about it. Nice. He had some some kind of spirit they say in in a belly, and part of, part of it was like carnival. And when we used to go on the main poopy and talk, and we go in the house there, nice. He on the bed lying down, and guess he her belly moving up, and just say, "Them boys for Josephine, man, I want them house. They have too much a bad word." <laughs> anyway, we don't worry. We talk and so on and say, and "Nice, you know, Joe, in the belly, man, you talk." And I remember the afternoon. You know when we became scared, fella call. Sonny boy, Mustington, he used to ride a motorbike. And Jack, Jack just died the other day in St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. He had a Vespa. Mm -hmm. And those guys were fearless. And they go in there and, and they tell Nicey. You know, he said, Nicey, spirit in Nicey, but tell them they're they going to fall down. On her belly? The spirit inside oh, the, the spirit, belly. Yes. You see the belly? Right. You know, while mm -hmm. she's talking, the belly moving up. And she tell them, You they, saw it? I was going to say, Nicey, belly move up. Oh, no, she, she was talking. The, the song coming from her mouth, she was on her back lying down. Right. But the belly moving up and down. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So anyway, she tell them that they're going to fall on the afternoon. I know they have to turn and fall along to that hour. And I pass back along again, boy. Uh, that, was, that was the only time that we were kind of scared to go down nicely. People just come part of the carnival. To see her. Yeah, to see. They the can't go inside the house. Why not? You can't go inside the house. Away from part of the house, you know. We so did she have the baby? No, oh, she died, man. She died in child's birth? No, no, no. No, she didn't have a child. She was, they, they, they say the spirit was in the belly. Wait, wait. So it's a real spirit that so was the, in the... So well, we, we see Nisey lying on her back and she was talking. The belly was moving up. Her belly moving up. So, but we know she was talking. You know, did and you see that she had a big belly? Yeah, she was inhaling. John being in Nisey belly. I've heard this song. This, this, this song. And she went to live it past the Henry down in Johnson Village. Mm -hmm. And, and she died down there. I think he died too. Because he, he had to pray to get the, get the spirit out of her belly. Of her? That's what they say. Mm. Because, you know, Potters and Johnson, a lot of Johnsonville people come from Potters, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just a road divide them. You know, divide us. Okay, okay. But Potters was a lot of fun, Petra. When we used to go, when the, when the Bajans came to Antigua, they had a Bajan bakery in Potters. They started. 
Eddie, Eddie, Norwegians doing in the Eddie, Wal Eddie Walsh, Eddie Walsh, well, the Welsh, still mm -hmm. alive. He shook the AP, still alive. And Biggs died and had one living in Montreal. I think he's still in England. He and Neil, your auntie, mother, Mary, mother, were mm -hmm. good friends. Okay. Uh, you know, and we so when he we go down to play cricket, Saturday time or holiday time, if you go home, you can't come and go. So we, we used to go by the beige and place go when the current size burn, mm -hmm. they, they give us they give us a pan and John Harley, same with John Harley. Mm -hmm. He ever sang. Coran slice is the best in the island, see me dunga them dunga them barbie John. And we buy a pond drink, a little condensed uh, Dutch baby milk, mm -hmm. throw it in the thing and we eat and we go and we go play cricket of uh, football all day. Cause when you go home, you go if you go home, you can't leave. You can't leave. And we used to have fun when, when people used to have to go, what, they, you build a polo car, they had a drum, and you help your friend. If you destroy them, help them fill up the thing. This one they had a big tank, but mm -hmm. still there by the corner. Okay. Right there, you know, over so there. So everybody will help everybody fill their car, fill their fill fill water. Yes, everybody. But picture them there's something. Potters was, you see, burning flames and black man in them and so on. Mm -hmm. Potters had a lot of great singers, you know. The them mothers could sing, you know, and recite poem. I always remember Aggie. Burn film and the mother. Mm -hmm. When they had concert singing, singing competition, meeting singing meeting, mm -hmm. Aggie used this you used to, to to recite of all the beauty spots on earth, the fairest and the best are the jewels of the Caribbean, the islands of the West, where nature in profusion grows, her choicest gifts bestowed in sea, in land, in temperature, in everything that grows. Me tell about the place mashup. Well, you know sound too bad yourself. You hey, know. listen to me. I'm burning friends them get that black muddy no me. And when they sing all the, you, you get goose pimple, black muddy mother. And you know, black muddy was a good father, but he walked funny. If he didn't have that, he would have played cricket for Antigua. He, had a, he was quick. He, he got in a motorbike accident, accident. Yeah, and he walked funny. Yeah, but yeah, here tell you. I he, glad you mentioned cricket. Because yeah. I know if I allow you, we're going to just talk all the time stories today. Yes. So I want to come forward now. You said just now that you would go out and play. Because once you go home, you're not coming back out. Uh, yeah. You played cricket and football or just cricket? Cricket and football. You were good at football? You were good at any of them? Yeah, man. Because I'm I going back to read. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Tell us about your, your cricket and football life, well, your sports life. When it come from, when it come putters, mm -hmm. when ball used to play, mm -hmm. a lot. And then you had the hard ball, you know, we, we, we call it hard ball. Mm -hmm. But putters had a very good pitch. Mm -hmm. Had a big roller and the pan was there. So our wicket was always like this. You could play seven day. We used to like to come to putters, even to play win ball. Okay. So who used to prepare the pitch? You guys? All of us, yeah. But how you know how to prepare the pitch? Well, we watch Uncle Arthur. Remember that little man in the ground that they called Uncle, like the slim man? Do tell me. Go ahead. You, you mm -hmm. never see me? He's a work at the ARG. ARG, okay. Uncle mm -hmm. Free, Uncle Arthur. So everybody called him Uncle. Okay. Because he was my uncle. I brought him down here. Mm -hmm. So they called him Uncle and Ginger and Copperhead and those guys. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, so we used to watch them and learn from them, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, Charlie King and them. So work at, at West in the side, he's a work at the factory. Mm -hmm. the, the, their lunch was 11 to 12, I was from 12 to 1. And when they go, we used to prepare, but when here we go home in the afternoon, me and Charlie about first and second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all used to prepare the pitch during your lunch time? Lunch time, yeah. We where, were, you, where you were working? West in the side. So how you got from West in this oil drive to a, Drive a car and you come for your lunch, you go for this for your lunch. Oh, so you were driving at the time? Oh, yeah, driving about at the time. About how old you were then? A young boy in me, in me. When I, when I started working, at first, when I left when I left school, I started working. When you left which school? Grammar school. Okay. Until grammar school. Mm -hmm. I went to work with Mr. Hewlett, the pastor Hewlett. Mm -hmm. Mason was one of the person in the wedding office. Mason had the, the taxi. Okay. Mm -hmm. And my uncle Robin, mm -hmm. he was one of the other thing. And the fella skilling, I think I think Mike Holy married one of his sisters. Okay. He used to work up there. I used to work there too. But when they dull the season, he would stay on and they send me down to to work in the office. And guess with who? Selvin Walters. Ruben Harris, the late Ruben Harris. What the guy named there, he's still alive. Oh Lord. St. Louis wife father still alive okay. Joseph Fosford okay David Fernandez 
and guy. We usually work in estate, cost accounting. Hi, that's actually work. Hi, that's oh, a yeah, session. Wait, wait, no. Could that sound like a session? No, no. Remember, Ruben was an economist. Selvin was an economist. Mm -hmm. David was an accountant. Mm -hmm. And Hartsford was everything. Lawyer, everything. I mean, he, he, he won the case of Leicester. He won the Privy Council. I won the case of Leicester. Had a fence on his land. And he won the Privy Council. He did his own case. Mm -hmm. Leicester had to pay him good money. <laughs> for a little piece of... Uh, for a, a sliver of land. So I used to work around those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand me? Selvin and Ruben and so on, mm -hmm. and, you know? How was that, though? Listen to me. And Robin Bassett used to come in there and that argument, politics, argument, everything. He tell so you. So you would leave that to go to? No, no, they closed down. Oh, okay. And when they closed down, mm -hmm. Petra, we were preparing to play cricket up at what they call the Asco. With my friend Smart, Cecil Martin, Smart, my very good friend. Mm -hmm. The, the, is you live down Villa, up the same road with Shortcut and Tim and them is you live. Okay. And <clears throat> I followed him. Followed him. To where? What's in the Zag if you farm? I was driving this car. Right. He, he had a Viva. He came a shilling for it. He said, Shilling for coming in. And I said, Petra, when you go look a job, don't go walk with nobody. I went there to follow him and factory had closed and Mr. Middleton was one of my bosses in the office, an right. Englishman, saw me. He said, guy came, I said, no, give him the follow friend. He said, no, 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 no. And Mr. Martin, who was the human source, brought a farm and tell me, fill out the farm. So you got the job? We had the job, fill out the farm. They, they, so they sorry, Go ahead, no fill out the farm. Mm -hmm. That was the thing. I, that, you can pull up close if you want. A Thursday. Right. Mm -hmm. Fill out the farm, Petra. Right. The Friday, we we have the practice in the top field. Mr. Martin comes, a guy come here, he gave me a letter. You go by Dr. McDonald on Monday and he will tell you what time to come out to do the, the different tests. Urinal and stool and the works. So I felt bad. Some so sense. what happened to the guy? Smart, smart, in, smart in to get the job and me get the job. Because Milton knew me. And so I said... Pause a minute. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lesson. The kind of body you go look at work. You see, guy end up with the work and it's only follow, you follow the band. Go ahead. Follow smart. <laughs> Now, smart is called Sonny, the cricketer. Yeah, the cricketer. Oh, Pat Martin, actually. brother. Mm -hmm. Harper, my good friend. He died in the States. So, take us wait, back no, now to Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, when sorry. I, when I, I had to tell him, he said, Shil he just come chilling for it. He said, chilling for no feeling, my man. You're my friend. I know you didn't, you know, he, he's the man call you. Mm -hmm. But smart, he was, was good. He didn't, he didn't hold it against me. Because when I went to the States in 72, 1972, I said with him, Dynamite, Vivi brother, Sonny Blaze, Sonny and that say in Costa Rica, a uh, whole about ten of them. I lived there, I stayed there, then I went over to Canada to stay with Barry Challenger and Paget Winter, then came back. You know, and I, I remember we went up with a guy who was work at Bryson's and he, he used to play cricket too. We went up on the same flight. You know, you had a book at flight, you know, those days the flights were like once a week, I think. Okay. So they, they were on the train and I saw him. I said, going back down the same date, he said, look, next time Antigua see me, he went there, sober running in Antigua. <laughs> and you know, I have never seen that boy come back, never. No, he said the next time Antigua see me, he went there, sober running in Antigua. Tell him, hold on. And smarty tell him, smarty tell him, it's foolish as you're talking. So he said, you can say it like, and you up, you go back home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so guy, I'm pulling yeah. you back now to the cricket. Yeah. You were telling me that you guys used to take your lunch break. Yeah. And go and, and roll the pitch. pitches. When come out, we control who bat first or who bat second. I mean, Charlie, this is why we're better than the other guys. So, how do you, you know who's a good cricketer too? Alfie. Who Alfie? Alfie Jacobs. Big Alfie? Big Alfie. Alfie can play cricket? Alfie was a good cricketer, yeah. But he, he very multi. And, them, and, and those boys used to want to bowl him plenty bong, bong bounces. Bounces mouth? Yeah. Good. <laughs> but Hi, Alfie, Alfie. I, I have to give you a joke about Alfie with. Mm -hmm. When he teethed Vivi. Oh, God. Alfie was the referee? No, Alfie was the umpire. He was umpire, sorry. Grammar school playing against St. John's. I was the captain. Mm -hmm. Everybody done with. And we declared a night. And, you know, grammar school had... I don't think... So I'm you were the captain for the team and grammar school? St. John's. No, no. Oh, Vivi was captain for grammar school. J.K. and um, grammar school. I, had, I left school, man. I left school. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You went from... Which school you went to before you went to grammar school? Potter's. You went to Potter's school? Yes. And then from I, Potter's school... I got a scholarship from... Part of school. school. Those days, the Anglican school. church, you used to run. Right. Six boys and six girls. The boys used to sit there 
exam at the St. John's Boys School. Mm-hmm. And the girls are there where they have the, 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 the office where Lester Bird used to live. You used to work in. And brother B, Ministry of Agriculture. Economic Development. Economic Development, okay. it was called there. Right, yes. I and the girls, they had a... They had a, like country pond. They had right. a, a girls' school. Yes. And they, the girls' school. And the, the girls just sit there, exam over there, the boys right. over there. Mm-hmm. And they just give six. Right, so you were one of the six. I was one of the six, yeah. So you went to grammar school. I went to the grammar school, yeah. But you're talking about, you just took us back to when you played cricket. And uh, when you were the captain of the team. So you were the captain of the team for which school? St. John's. St. John's. Oh, no, St. John's, the community. St. John's Club. Yeah. And we were playing against... Grammar, grammar school, school. AGS. Okay, got gotcha you now. Go ahead. R- right, I come into that. Okay, go but ahead. when I went to the grammar school, I was in Hudson House. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I heard somebody calling. I don't know about grammar school. Grammar school is a second best school. I went to uh, grammar school. Go ahead. As you said it here, <laughs> n- none can touch grammar school with AGS. I remember, I can't remember, I remember it's either Walter or Barry Edwards. It was a fellow, Mark, Morrison Roberts, Guy Yearwood. Feel more and, cl- and Clark and say, Hall, like six of us. Mm-hmm. Can't remember the girls. And you know, those days, Grams were like 2B, 10 form, 2B, 2A, 3B, 3A, 4B, 4A, 5B, 5A, 6B, 6A. 6B was like the first year of State College. Oh, 6A okay. was, you know. So me. you had to go from A to B to A to B, or you just went. S- some people go all B's, some people go so all, all, okay, all A's. Right, so yeah. Just want to make sure I understand. Yeah, you had some bright boys like Darwin and, and Goodwin and Scarpin and them boys mm-hmm. and so. And all of us were there. You know, we, we had some good Calvin. Guy, anyway. hold one second for me. There were a few people asking, for those of you who joined late, this is where the ones Wednesday, where the ones <coughs> Wednesday. I'm your host, Peter Williams. I don't matter today. Today with me in studio is one of my, actually, he's one of my avid listeners. I forgot to tell y'all. Is Guy Yearwood. And for those of you who are asking, yes, Guy is from Potter's. We're talking about, he just shared a lot of his Potter's experience, life growing up in Potter's. And he is from the freelance and the yearwoods if you so for those of you who are not did miss that yes guy is a freelance and a yearwood so the yearwood part is his white side you like to say that so i can get rid of it okay guy so back to you now back yeah. in the cricket so when i went to grammar school the moravians father brown was the grams were mostly english english teachers mr foot was the headmaster father brown mr hall Father Cyrus, then, then they had Dr. Blackett, and, and those every grams with them, Mrs. Bird, Miss mm-hmm. Lynn, you know, we had, and Mr. Barnes, John Arundel, Mr. Yeah, James. Heavy, heavy every time I see Mr. James, I call him Mr. James. He said, Guys, I said, I said, No, I know you all my life as teacher. John Arundel, the same thing. Mr. Barnes, before he died, he, you know what I mean? We were trained that way. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, when, the, when you go to, and those guys, when they go, to grammar school, we used to do religious knowledge, right through. Mm-hmm. I hear that after a while they changed it to up to a certain form. We had we could do right up up to fifth form. And I remember whenever we go, Father Brown always give religious knowledge. What is conscience? Well, well you know the Moravians, con- conscience is that sense of right and wrong within us, which makes us happy when we do right and unhappy when we do wrong. So when we say we say, wow, you, you clean up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you go the next morning, and they say, hey, see me. Up, so. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? You're going to the Canaan. Why? Father, Bro- Father Brown. See me mean Canaan. Canaan. No? Wait. Why? When, because we're not here. No? So when you're going, Father Brown say, you Moravians with that foolishness. Conscience is the mind of man passing moral judgment. That's why you want to even free paper. Mm. Here? So you were reciting what you were taught. Yeah, as uh, opposed to all of you. all my ravens should get caught with that. <laughs> Any raven tell it that they never get cane from Father Brown. Be, uh, w- w- but didn't he teach you what it was before he asked the question? Father Brown would come and put Scrooge said page 19. He said he teach you. Father Brown was an excellent teacher, but Father Brown got he said he said he's there to to think you to learn and you know do your research. Page 19, Scrooge said, Never said what what Scrooge said. I mean, Timothy teaches to literature. Mm-hmm. We still love when Timothy come down. When he, when he come with plenty books in his hand, you know, he can sit down and smoke a cigarette and read it, read it enough. You know, he like to read. Mm-hmm. When he come with bare hands, mm-hmm. you walk him, pop, pop. Friends, teach literature. I said, friends, Roman, challenge up, pop, pop, cough and so you get in a pop, you know, Tim. But you know, man. Dal, you know, we, we, we have fun with him, man. But, but Tim is a good teacher. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me. Petro, continue. 
Then me years yeah, yeah. I come to Berry Caesar, you know, to phrase him the evil, you know. Boy, mom, papa. So wait, y'all learned all these things by rote? You have to you learn. Have to memorize them? You have to memorize them. When you, you, you don't know when you're going to ask him to continue. And you memorize them gladly? Hey, listen to me. Teaching was a different thing, you know. I remember when... when you don't know how the teaching go now. You're Petra, human. Petra, I tell them, my kids and them, that they have... Why I can you math? We say have arithmetic was a subject. Geometry was a subject. And algebra. Well, those are three subjects. You, you, you remember that? No, I went when there was one. Botany. Subject, I think. Botany and health science were two subjects. And now you are called the biology. Whatever. You know, you know things were different those days. It's a long time, you know. You, 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 you have to do physics and so too. How do you mean? And you did Latin and so? Of course. Yeah, Latin, let, let, let's French. Talk cricket. Oh, we'll talk cricket. Let's go. Cricket. Because <laughs> if I stay with you, this is, by the way, this has been very interesting, guy. But you know, if I stay with you there, we're going to be stuck there. We're not going to get to anything yeah, else. Yeah, about yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go now. Tell me. With the cricket. About you and your playing side first. Uh, okay. Potters first. Mm -hmm. I came to Potters. And me, Charlie King and I were the two young guys. And we were better than some of the, the other guys. We were some good cricketers. Alfie and Sarah were good too. And when I went to grammar school, I used to play, we used to play a lot of wind ball. What we used to do, there are some guys who, who, who could play wind ball better than me and Charlie. Mikey Luke, Maxwell Penny died the other day. Some guys, and they were really good at wind ball. Mm -hmm. But what we used to do, cut off the hair of the ball, and they, they, we call this skinless. It had the effect of the, uh, of the hard them, ball. Them things hit hard. When, we went yeah. to, when I went to grammar school, and I was in Hudson House. J.K. was in charge of Hudson House. And I touched the ball there on, on a small field. And the ball, see the ball go. After that, I gave up wind ball. He said, so easy, you know, pump, stroke the ball, the ball gone. That was still wind ball or that was? No, my heart, ball. but the real thing, man. Oh, the real so thing. when you got to Gram School and you got the real McCoy. The real McCoy. Mm -hmm. You gave up wind I'm ball. I'm going to tell you, when I went to Gram School the first day, I have a bird, was high jumping, it was slim. And I go up there, you know, that initiation. Mm -hmm. And I see some guys, Swift and Jerry, Brian and Jake, see some cool little guy circling around like vulture, vultures cocking with sponge. Ivor Burton, give him a break. He's my good friend. Me and Ivor father. See, I watch Ivor high jumping. I have a friend. And so, you I, got a good, so you got the break? Ta, of course. They, oh. didn't, they didn't cock me. Mm. I have a bird. Save him. Up to now, we're still friends. Okay. So you played cricket for pot, at Potters. Potters. And then, ball. then you went to grammar school and fell in love with... Uh, Real Hard kids, ball, yes. And you represented grammar school? Of course. And be you represented Antigua Before, too? Wait, 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 wait. I come into that, man. Before, when I was a, a junior playing down there, they had a fellow, Watkins, he's now in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Hudson House playing against Branch. Ted Isaac was a fast bowler playing up at top field where they call Yasko. And they were short of a man. I was in down there playing the short pants. Mm -hmm. Because in the grammar school, a certain class. Short pants. Short pants, they, they reached the third form. Yes. You can, you can wear long pants, you know. You know, big man, you wear short pants. And they sent for me up there. And I went up. Jakey came and said, come up and we shot my man. Jakey, light stand. And they put me to open. And Ted that's coming from the crazy end. Mm -hmm. And I remember hooking him for two seconds, I made 57 today. Mm -hmm. And Ted that's like a friend and I have friends up to today. So that means then after they were shot, a man and they brought you down from the league team, the junior side to the big team, they sent you back to juniors? Or you Tell played man, we play for the... Big team, you play one of my juniors. There are like Calvin and Frederick Sobe and, and those guys and so on used to play, you know what I mean? Frederick Sobe run man, the, the athlete. Way older Calvin Gunner died. Guy. Calvin Gunner was a pole vault. He was an excellent athlete. Could play football, cricket, everything. So let's jump forward, guy. Mm. You <clears> played for Antigua. Yeah. We played for I played for Antigua. Well, you played for your, your club cricket, which was St. John's. St. John's, yeah. Yes. Yeah, after Col after I left grammar school, mm -hmm. no, before I left grammar school, we had a, a combined school team. Okay. Combined school team. So you played for the combined school. PM had school. two players, Albert and a fellow called Atlee Thomas. He was a good opening batsman. Mm -hmm. And PM school had three. Trevor Maturin, Martin on the Winter Girls, who was a record back players. Trev, Trevor Maturin. Uh, what's the guy name? Paget Lake. He, he was a, the, the pilot. Husband mm -hmm. Lake brother man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Off spinning. And Duncan Finch. Mm -hmm. And I think... I, I used to beg him to play. He was one of the best wicketkeeper batsmen that I've I've seen or played with. Duncan. He so died. We had, so we had he big, died. We had big cricketers. And and the other nine or the four didn't come from grammar, grammar school. school. So yeah. bad minded. 
No, no, no. PM get three, you know, PM, get nine. PM get two. Two? Yeah. And PM I get, look, and I get the rest. PM look, it didn't get two. Whatever. Moving on. Tell us that. It's one that should get. It's long time that should get. It's one that should get. It's long time that should get. It's only at the time it's one that should get. But they didn't want to flip it to me too many grams. But here's the joke. Carl, my brother in the Carl, Carl Roberts, Grams School had a second team. And those days, Dr. Francis was in charge of Old Road School. That's <coughs> Alistair Francis. Alistair. Yes. And they said they wanted to, to play Grams School. So we sent the second team over with Sobe and all them guys. Mm -hmm. And Old Road beat them off. It was big news. And the next week, Mr. Barnes said, we're going to take you all over there to, to with a real big team. To sort it, to sort Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jake, so Jake had the ping, ping, wait, no. Jake had the big rambler. Mr. Barnes uh, went over there. Where's the one that has? Where's the changer? Mm -hmm. what, a, what a wonderful sportsman. Anyway, <clears throat> and we put him in. We bowled him out for 109. And Clavis, so on and I knock out the run without last. 110 without last. And we had, a, you know, food and so to eat. Some of those guys were drinking beers. And we were coming over in Mr. Barnes' care. And then we were singing all kind of songs that are not fit for radio. Right. Yes. We, we and not fit to be sung in front of the, the teacher, teacher either. either. But it's okay. When we come into my dark, those days, dark, those, they would not light around the place. That with a nice son, Mr. Barnes, probably because he's a guy, I think he's a well in Brian. I can't remember if well was in the care. Well in Brian from the down, the down, things we did. The, okay. the things in basically. He was a good okay. cricketer. Mm -hmm. We used to call him Kanai. He was mm -hmm. a good cricketer. And <clears throat> Guy, Barry, Humphreys, Jackson, five of us. Mm -hmm. He put you all out again? How you mean? He said, I, I said, Mr. Barnes, the place dark. And you, we walk from the actual darkness until we reach Ebenezer. When Jake, somebody told Jake, and Jake came, came in his rambler and took us up. And I said, Mr. Jacobs, tomorrow we have to play against the ship. I'm not coming now. Mr. Jacobs said, you better come now. Cause Mr. Barnes report the all, they're going to suspend the all for the, the singing rules. Song in, the quality in, in, of the music you were yeah. singing. So let us go back now. Don't stray again now. We're yeah. sticking to the cricket this yeah. time. So you played for... After I left grammar school, right. I went and I joined St. John's mm -hmm. with Hutton Isaac and Chief Evans and right. Toss Matthew. And that, from there you got selected to Antigua? Yes. Okay. And then playing Antigua, then check check this, the, um, the, 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 the Facebook page for me. Playing huh? Antigua. Huh? No, no, that's you, me. Oh. I'm good. I was just telling someone yeah. to do something for me. Playing for Antigua now, you... I played for Antigua. The first time I went to play for Antigua was in Montreux, 1968. I remember we had a trial match. Oh, yeah, I feel young. Huh? I feel young. We had done 1968. And we had a trial match. And Mohammed Charles... Mohammed Charles... Last ball before we were going away the next day to play against Sinkits. Mm -hmm. Those days would be a three day game, right. and the winner mm -hmm. would play against the winner of Nevis and Montreal. Mm -hmm. And Mohammed Charles was in Pinker Farm, mm -hmm. and Vivi brought a Dan, which bowled him a, a bumper, and he tried to hook, got a big cut over his eyes. Mm -hmm. And they hot them went on to see Malcolm, mm -hmm. Vivi's father. Mm -hmm. Said they want Vivi to come and join the team. Mm -hmm. He said, Vivi and a spearman. Men are saying Vivi and a spearman. If we are wrong to be spearman, he can be spearman. Because we so we went up there with twelve people. Mm -hmm. Because Mohammed couldn't come. And Courtney Selman, a Bajan guy, he was working here, nice fast bowler. Mm -hmm. He went on some course, but he was gonna become be, be coming back down for, because we thought we would beat St. Kitts. Easy. And play against the winner of Neves and Montreal. Did you have it, Kitts? It was St. Kitts. I remember Smarty. Smart, they make 80 something, and before he moved the 100, he started vomiting. The same guy, smart, they got job, started vomiting. From what? Something yet. Okay. So did y'all beat Sinkit? Sinkit beat us on first in this. Oh, okay. Sinkit beat us on first in this. So y'all yeah, didn't. But I didn't play, I was a 12th man. Oh, you were a 12th man? Well, I have a, I, we were short of a man, so I had to carry the water, cat, feel, do everything. You know, you, you know when the 12th man, those days, you had to work, you know, you know, like know them. You know? So let me understand this. So you made the side. And then and then sixty nine now, mm -hmm. when I played, Vivi played too. Mm -hmm. Vivi played and the Trump title, the four of us. Against Saint Kitts. Yeah, we. When Vivi matched up the game. When Vivi matched up the game. He, he wasn't out. 
I was batting. He wasn't out. Vivi, we was this so the two of y'all were batting. Vivi was a star boy. Come down as star boy. Awesome. Well, and Vivi listen, was Vivi. No, no, Vivi was young. He was about 16 or 17. Uh-huh. And you know, Vivi had a had of Vivi. Vivi is good man. Okay. Vivi, Vivi is better than us. You know, okay. you he, he, he had to call my friend Jean Gould and Vernon. And them boys are good too, but not like Vivi. Okay. Vivi was special. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that. I play against with and among them guys. Jean so, and them were good. So Vivi was... Vivi came in. Out by the umpire? Yes. And you know who gave him out? A pastor, George Edwards. And the man. Why do you have to put no, pastor no, in the No, no, no. I have to be called. When, when we say a month, that's why he does. He, he, he was a, a pastor. I'm going to say, I'm umpire, man. Time to get rid of the garrots. And next in the trap. Those days, the, the umpires came from the island. I remember when I went to sink it, Buchanan gave me out, then it's empty. Jump up and gave me out. You were S- out? Oh, out way. So hold on. Drum pop, um, pay drum pop, like he happy, like he happy? G- gave me out. So, 973. Wait, 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 wait. So go back to that game. They were saying that with Vivi, because wait. you said Vivi mash up the game. Wait, no, Jack. Vivi didn't the ball hit Vivi pad side, mm-hmm. and, and somebody caught him, and the appeal sank it. And they gave him, and George Edwards gave him out. Mm-hmm. And the Vivi young boy stamp up. Mm-hmm. The game mash up hard, said, so come on the field. No Vivi, no match. But he out. Uh, he, he know me out. Okay, what I'm okay, saying, he wasn't let, out. Let me let me <coughs> clarify. The umpire gave gave him out. out. Right, so he so was a young young boy, and they crowd the game for hours, and and they took a decision that they're gonna put him back in the bat, but he must give up his wicket. And Vivi father made nice. Oh, I have him pick me out. They go, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He, they put him back into bat. To bat. But he must give up. But he must yeah. go in and out. So, so I always tease him and say, "Boy, smoking Joe, you have a record that nobody can beat. Make two not in one innings." <laughs> He went back in and gave up his wicket. Well, he had to, man. He had to. They tell him that. They tell me I had to do that. You know what? Let's move on. So the next day, then they banned him for a year. They banned him for a year. Yeah. Uh-uh. So 1970, he didn't play. He started playing in 71. And he was supposed to be the captain. But because at the band, they put me to be the captain. And he was the vice captain. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. you know, but, but Vivi was always a good man. He, he may tell he can, can play. But he, he wasn't out. Vivi wasn't out at all. He had he had confidence. He had, <laughs> you know, Vivi had a walk. You make two ducks in one, one in innings. innings. I'll Listen, tease him. Let, we're not talking Vivi. Let's go back to you. Yeah. So, Let's anyway. To you. Anyway, I made 42 that game there. And the next game against Nevis, I made 115. Not out. What guy you are a big batsman? Oh, I mean, I mean my mother doesn't tell me, 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 me you're a big batsman. We are real big batsman. Listen to me. I see some guys playing for West Indies and and, and, and for things and so on. We don't reach be, there yet. Get all the rating. We don't reach there They're yet. They're not good. G- guy, we don't reach anyway, there yet. Yeah. So, you played for Antigua, you played for Leewards too? Yeah, well, and combined, man. C- come on, uh, Petra. And coming up, it's not me after the people have to know. So, Petra. Not because I know they have to wait, know. Wait, no, so, so we, we played Nevis, won the game, won, won the finals mm-hmm. against us 69. Mm-hmm. El Comedy, well, he was about 13 and 14. 13, 13 or 14 years of age. Right. And he, he got so wicked. We, El, El Comedy was 13 years. Wow. Will played against in Antigua when he was 13 or 14 years of wow. age. He got the wickets throwing up the ball. But, but I, made, I made 115 not out. And remember, swallowing them at songs. Remember, swallowing the song. Them Antigua cricketers can neither bad feel nor bull. Some of them like they have long big or come bend because they're too old. Wait, cricket did you mash it up? Yeah, cricket board to drop the old bunch of them and give young fellas a chance. They bring in shame and Antigua to make like a nevis they conquer. Tennessee had a song. Now in that very game, Harry Walters died last week, mm-hmm. very last week, picked me up and he said, told him, pick up the ball, I went on to make a century. And tells on the song, now in that very game, Guy here should have been out. He gave a catch to Walters, the umpire disallowed. He went on to make a century, of which we were feeling proud. But oh, what a pity when Guy was already, hear the joke? 1969, now Calypso competition, semi-finals. Mm-hmm. Marcus Chris put me to be one of the judges. Red Summer was re, he had a joke. Red Summer was a chairman. Robin Baskas was the vice chairman of the, the judges, judges committee. Mm-hmm. Lord Sherry, Bruce Watt and Guy Yearwood. And when they then they say no, I am one of the judge up at ARG in front of the place. Then come. Guy not because I put the name in the in song, the song now. now. I, I said, I mean look at that man. Shelly made his debut at the same time when he sang Le- Shelly Shelly Tobin, Tobin? Labour the Night okay. shouted record the song under the year after. Mm-hmm. Labour the Night and New the Society. Mm-hmm. 
And he could, they had a nice song, but you know, Shelly, how Shelly, Shelly. And, and we put him in just for the thing. Marcus said, You put him in just for the Marcus thing. Marcus said, Add, add one. And encourage him. Here, Marcus said, Put him in, put him in. Put him in. So Shelly made his finals. And after that, he started writing my shorts at full time. But he'll tell you, them, those same guys, I said, they Come on, no. he, 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 he say, I make some money on them. And I, I write in the phone. Okay, yeah. so let's stick with the quick because we're going to so, so anyway. Uh -huh. So so after that we played for You played for Antigua, you then played for the Lee Words and the Combine. Combine. Combine Islands. Right. Yes. Yeah, we with Vivi and Andy. Right. Yeah. And then so Vivi and Andy went down to West Indies and then, yeah. and then they look on the rest of you. Listen to me. You think any other one of hey. you guys would were look, ready for West Indies? When I told Andrew Mason the team the the, the team that Barbados had the team that Trinidad had, mm -hmm. the team that Jamaica had, mm -hmm. the team that Guyana had, mm -hmm. combines team. You know, and you may say to me, right up on George Ryan Hotel there, mm -hmm. that is joining in some place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said, he said, man, no one on the bike could beat West Indies. I mean, I see some guys playing for Leroy's. We're not going there yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what I'm saying, the standard was high. I understand. And Vivi. We will and, discuss and were the standards of everybody else <laughs> later. We're talking about you now. Yeah. So, so you played right up to the highest right. regional. My highest score was two hundred and three in Monster. Right? And when I come out, they, 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 they don't acknowledge the applause. You know, I I didn't know that six more, five more months out of past year ago. When I come out, they, they, they say I made one ninety nine, four hundred drop off some place. And I tell you something, Petra. Those days when here we used to play cricket in Monster right? and so on, you know. Danny was the captain that year. But 71 when Vivi came in, came back mm -hmm. after the band. We went to sink it. That's when Buchanan, no, Buchanan gave me out 1970. When I had, I made 22, and the second is I had 81 when rain came. I mean, I was a certain century. I, I was well against Nevis. Guy. Yeah. And Monster. I have to ask you this. Yeah. Back then, y'all were playing against, it was 11 against 13. Because it sounds like the umpires hey, were listen to me. part of the team listen that we're to playing me. against. It's not only umpire and the groundsman, you know. Yeah, when they go yeah. sink, man, sink it, them in and them groundsman wet up, we can say rain come, no rain come. We come from, we, we coming from, from a, a, a party in 1972 in Nevis. Listen to what I'm saying, Jack. Listen to what I'm saying, Jack. 1972, we rain and we didn't run. We walk home to the hotel, right on Pinney's Beach. And then morning, when we go up there, they, they, and we were bowling from the south to north. Whole place wet up. <laughs> Listen to me, months are the same thing. But wouldn't we can do it here. We so can do it here. So wouldn't their teams also suffer from what they did? No, or it was just done to when they have to bowl. When they have to bowl. So when they have to bowl, the wicket wet. Right. So the ball would skin and do all other things. And uh, we, we just under, we just playing on playing on and that until when that is dry. We, we can do it there because is prisoners usually prepare. Our wickets. So why you could do it? How you could do a drill, man? And then you can tell them, come out, you can live up covers. We had some big covers. Remember, hot the names work at Bryson's. And <laughs> talking about things. Sorry, so, ladies and gentlemen, forgive, forgive me. Petra, Those of you who are watching, forgive Petra, my antics. By the way, my first bat I got from Hutton Isaac. Mm -hmm. Brand new bat, uh, Peter May. Vivi got a, 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 a Len Hutton. No, I, I got a Len Hutton. Vivi got a Peter May from Hutton. Brand new bat, Hutton Isaac. Okay, so let's yeah. move on now. Yeah, go ahead. So, so we've spoken about you as the player in cricket. Yes. You went on to be in Play Play for coach. the Combine Islands. No, we're going to left that. Yeah. We don't care about that. Yeah. We don't have time for that now. So we've gone on now to you as a coach. You became a coach in cricket? Huh? Or you became a manager in cricket? I, I became manager, player, and coach. No. So we're done with the player manager, side. Manager, I want to talk about guy, mm, the mm, manager, mm, and guy, the coach. Yeah. One of the things that I've always heard about Guy is that Guy could spot a talent. Very and Guy was able to analyze and help you to work at improving your craft. Up to now. Tell me about that. Up to now. Tell me about that. Up to now. I'm, I'm still waiting on my friend Kenneth Benjamin. He's supposed to come and see me because he talk about Melias. Melias play with too much bottom hand. They can make runs in them 10 overs foolishness. And it, it talk about the fellow net. 10 over foolishness. The people that make well, good money from them things there. Well... Come can we tell you that Taddy Arundel guy here with the Andrew Robert sell ten overs is his night sell cricket. But they make money really. Yes. Yeah, but no they make money. But I don't those things don't develop players. Agreed. So in terms of player <coughs> development guy, mm. what what did you do? 
listen to me. Mm-hmm. I was a very technical person. Okay? I could analyze weaknesses and strength. I, Where you I got could, that skill from? Listen to me. I believe I got that skill from... Upstairs? From people like Danny Livingston. Mm-hmm. When they say don't chat with him, especially when they having a few drinks. Mm-hmm. He, t- he would talk cricket all night. Mm-hmm. And I used to love commercial and, and I. Commercial was very ta- tactical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Andy, Vivi. So I was, I, from I was from technical. No, no, all of us used to be, be around. No, but I'm I was talking about in terms of you and your abilities as a coach to be able to identify the talent and then groom the talent yes. to become better. That's what I want to know. Where did you get that skill from? I learned from my own people. Talk to people like Sheepy Evanston, Horton Isaac, you know what I mean? Those type of people. Earl Michael, you know, those guys, Derek okay. Michael. So you basically, it was a, you, you learned from a those student. who went before you. Yes, and, and I love to ask, better. and I love to chat, and I ask a lot of questions, and I, and I have them in, in my computer bank. So how could, you look, how could you look at a player? I watch cricket. Mm. You watch cricket. Mm. I will discuss one set of things about cricket. You will discuss the technique and the strategy. And the, 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 I will ask you about a player, but I'm not going to ask you on here. I'm going to finish because I'm not able. So, ask me about a player. I'm going to ask you about the player. In a close game to play with, with Reverend Jarvis and Potters from Sweets. Mm-hmm. I saw him, he made 10. All on the inside. Mm-hmm. He didn't have no offside stroke. Mm-hmm. I said, boy, why don't you come and join St. John's? Mm-hmm. It was a practice in the ARG. He said, Okay, he can come. Cause he, he had the had a head. His brother's son is a play rising son. One is a play for Empire Alvin. Well, I, as a coach, Foster, and of all of those boys, Enoch was the best. Mm-hmm. I have Ed the second. I have Foster the third. Oh, no. You, you, I don't want you to stray. Stick wait, wait, to wait, 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 wait. The analysis. Think yes, because remember, we are and time. Vivi came down. Vivi came down. <clears throat> now, Vivi, Enoch came down. And did they tell them uh, Ralph Pacer, Greg, Greg Walter, Greg Walter who was a good fastball too. Hercules, no man. When Hold I go, when I go academy and I coach short, you know, short the politician, he's a brother them by Anthony two. Stewart. Anthony, yeah, so he you was coached at, at, at after Mister Wallen got old. Mm-hmm. I coached there. Not even go out. We don't want water. Have to drink pipe water. Then Mister Harry Whitfield Harrison then hold up the pipe and see me drinking some run of the pipe, with the rusty water. Manager, go ahead. No, wait, coach, wait, wait, sorry, wait, wait. Skills, so when I when I tell Enoch, came down, I tell the guy in the bowling, the afternoon, he, he said, guy called, I want to ride over, over by Robinson, but I don't think I'm coming back tomorrow. I said, why? He, he said, don't like to practice. I said, I said, let me drop his sweets. Mm-hmm. Because we played against Bermuda, me and Kamashi made, made 100. The other man called Will Miners, who had a sports shop, he used to send us gears. Mm-hmm. Petra, he used to send us gears. Mm-hmm. You hear me, Petra? I'm listening to you. And <clears throat> I had a spare bag, brand new, a spare bat, glove, and a pad. Mm-hmm. I tell Enoch, I'm, I'm going to bring it for you tomorrow. I say, if you come early, you get two batting. Mm-hmm. And when Enoch played that year, when he went to sink it, we didn't, we, we didn't play try matches yet. We Enoch don't score about two or three centuries. Calvin Wilkin, who was the West Indies selector, mm-hmm. when he had Walcott, Hendrick, Solomon, Frank Thomas from St. Vincent, and, and Calvin Wilkin, five selectors. When he says it was West Indies, mm-hmm. five selectors, plus the captain, whoever he was. And he said, he's a guy, Elmar came and did the same tour down there. Elmar made 60 at the Saturday, you know, won the game. Mm-hmm. And we played on Sunday and Monday. And he, he made 78. Somebody run him out. He's a guy, the fellow in a close. He's going to play for Antigua. Yeah, but when they see all the stroke, he was an outside player. We made him into an all-round player. He, he had talent. He had a lot of talent. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, I, I can't say we haven't played in Try him. I said, yet. I said, but your friend Kenrick is the is is chairman of selectors. He called out the night and the morning. He said, but instead of you know that Ian had done scored two or three centuries. I said, I know that, but I can't, I'm not a selector, Mr. Right, Mr. Right. Mr. Wilkins, so I can't be, you know what I mean? Did you ever become a selector? Eh? Did you ever a selector? Wh- when a is it, wh- what is the coach of the combined school? Combined, you used to coach the combined school team? I was the first I had or not. Tell you get the name, the, the name after I left now. When you, you know, when I came back uh, after finished politics, Enoch Lewis stopped me out at West Central gas station. Say you want the giant selector? I said, listen me, I am a custom all in Canada. I am a one man selector. If you don't like, it, you fire me after a year to you know fire me. I don't want to s- sit down. I won't tell you why. Nineteen seventy nine when 
when Elding had his contract to go Ken. Vivi was the captain for Antigua mm -hmm. in the Benson Hedges tournament. Right. He couldn't come down in time, so Andy captain the team in St. Lucia. Kamasha was the vice captain. I was the, the manager. Three of us picked the team. Mm -hmm. And they kept and they, and they kept the same the same guys. And when we finished picking the team, Andy can't get in one player. <laughs> so when me, Kamasha and Vivi met, you know what I mean? Andy can't get in one player. So so he said he don't want to be in a part of the selection. Hutton, Hutton and Sidney Christian call us and say, look, Andy complaining. I said, but as I said, but this is democracy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Andy, Andy wasn't vexed. Because I want to Andy. That wasn't democracy. That's dictatorship. That's the dictatorship. Uh, exactly. Exactly. So uh, after this, I come as you mustn't come. Vivian, me and come as you meet maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I'll be going. So when you come 4.30 or 5 o'clock, I'll pick the team so he can get me one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to We Are The Ones on Point FM. I am your host, Petra Williams, and with me in the studio today is a man for all seasons, Guy Yawood. You just heard from him this segment. We spoke about his early many, many, many teething stories. I'm kidding. His many stories as a youngster in part, growing up in Potters. And then we had a look at him as a cricket player. And a brief, brief look at him as a coach and administrator. And I say brief because guys exploiting that field are, are legendary. When we come back, we are going to pivot to Guy the politician. So I want Guy to tune his mind to that. No, with that when we no, because I want the Calypsonian for you would be long too. Nah. So we're gonna do Guy the politician when we come back from this break. We'll be right back. What a lovely sound. What a lovely sound. Why my body feels? Can I give me a good gamble? I have a good man. Oh, God, I'm going to get a good gamble. Oh, God, I'm going to get a good gamble. 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 When you blow it, you go on. You say you got what it takes. To make the music great. All you want is just a chance. So we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, and we are speaking with Guy. And you hear me laughing because <coughs> if you all heard Guy during the break, we're not talking about that today. <laughs> sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My apologies. Yes, but good afternoon to the Burning Flames, man. That is all I'd say today. Burning Flames posse. Yeah, I just got a good scoop on all you. <laughs> all right. So, Guy. Yes. You <coughs> I don't know where I want to. What, what, what's your earliest involvement in politics? How did you how did you get into politics? Well, I, I tell you, when I work at the sugar factory in the right. in the office, mm -hmm. I was around politician. Well, yeah, you kind of get Harris, the, Selvin, Walter. Uh, well, David was a politician. Bascos, mm -hmm. uh, Hosford. You know what I'm going to do? Hosford. So you Joseph left. Hosford was a politician too. Okay, so the, you left West Indies Oil. No, no, no. I left factory after the close. No, I know that, right. So, because you had already spoken about that, and we spoke about you at Western Israel. And from Western Israel, where did you go? ZDK to farm ZDK. With you Ivor went to Burry. ZDK. You were Start the manager? ZDK. Ivor was the manager. Uh -huh. I was the... I have a right hand. Oh, so you and, Z, you and Ivor started ZDK started together? ZDK, yes. Okay. Before ZDK, ZDK went down. So, when he protected you in first farm, you formed the friendship that just from went way back, to. yeah. All right, how long you stayed at ZDK? For until... until we won the election in 76 and I had enough of that. Six or seven years. 
So you did. Oh, so you were part of that crew. Okay, and then so when when your and party was all those people and so when on. your party won the election, yes, what did you do? I went to work for the, the Ministry of of Sports, and you were a. What did you do in the Ministry of Sports? I was the what it was. They gave me some big name. And commissioner. We, oh, wait, we didn't no, have commissioner wait, then. Let me give you a joke. Let, let, let me tell you about that because you, 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 you won't find anything. A certain minister was there who had been my cousin, Adolphus. Remember, I was making more than what Papa Bird said they were going to pay me and uh, pay my traveling. Papa Bird said they were going to pay a guy nine fifty in the cabinet and one fifty to take me to 11. Mm -hmm. I was making more, the, 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 the basic salary, mm -hmm. but the little traveling is to carry, carry me over. up, right. And Adolphus argued against it. He, he, he Papa Bird. I mean, make all the decisions around him and not hire them. And that was the end of that. Oh, Lord help me. Okay, guy. Okay. okay. So you were in Ministry of Sports for S how long? And for 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 from from nine, nine to six mm -hmm. until I went to Canada in eighty one. Then they were when I took up the coaching in a okay. big way. In they, Canada. No, no, here in oh, Antigua. So between seventy six and eighty one, you were the coach. Go Bob, you, you were, were an Ayatollah. Right, I was the Ayatollah. Right. Go Bob, you were the no no set up coaching to coach yes. Bob Yuda. You set up the coaching in Barbuda. Two no weeks, I went down yeah, there. But remember, we're not dwelling on that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We move forward, and then you went to Canada. Yes. What what, what did you do in Canada? I, don't know, I work at the Antigua Consulate General of Antigua and Barbuda Department of Tourism and Trade. So you I was vice consul. Were the vice consul yeah, in vice Canada? Yeah, vice consul. Blackman. On Miss Blackman. I, For how long? I worked with Mister Richards and, and till he till he died. You work with Noble Richards. Okay. Sir Noble. 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 Sir Noble, Noble Richards was also in Canada. He was in he was in charge and, and, okay. and until he died after that Madeline was the, the boss. Right. Yeah. And then so you were the I, I was like vice number council. two. Yeah. Right. Vice and you council. stayed there for how long? I stayed there until nineteen ninety. Ninety five I came back home. Okay. And when you came back home, what did you do? When I came back home, I came and come to be the, the uh commissioner of youth and, and sports. And sports, yeah. Right. And then so I, you were the commissioner for youth and sports. Yeah. While you were commissioner for youth and sports, that's when you were chairman of Carnival or after that? No. I was chairman of Carnival for, for the last two years before I went in 97 and 98. I was chairman of Carnival. You know, who was your secretary? Huh? You know, who was your secretary? Who was your secretary? The chair for Carnival those two years. Uh, you know, remember? No, who? who okay. Was? All right, we'll come back to that. Are you? Go ahead. I, <laughs> You'll come you back to that. Up, <laughs> yes, it, guy, I was it, your secretary. Sorry, darling, all right? I was your secretary. No, okay, okay, yeah, no yeah, 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 all right. that. Right. Well, so, so, we go back. <clears throat> We go, um, so now after you did your two years at Carnival, yeah. and we're going to come <coughs> back to your Carnival involvement, yeah. you then went on to become the candidate. Yes. Who decided you were going to be the candidate? Well, we had, what do you call it, not polls like now, they were, we, we, we had. Who was the candidate before you? Freeland. Freeland, right. My cousin. So Freeland decided that he was bowing out. Well, he, 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 he didn't decide. They wanted Adams. Leroy Adams. Leroy Adams. Right. And I decided to join the fight. Okay. And we had primary. Mm -hmm. And I, I won the primary. You won the primary. Okay. So you won the primary <coughs> and you became the candidate. Yeah. Did you win your first time out? No. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Lester, don't let me talk about it. But he, 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 he haunted me to write a book. I tell him to write a book after talk the truth. Well, Lester, well, right, no, no, right listen to me, Petra. No, my, my advocate you involved too. We counted twenty two. You think me and you don't need we, had, together? we counted twenty two blue the the tendered ballot, and you know what the tendered ballot mm -hmm. is. And not at seventeen, I had five, and not beat me by five. five but if you took out the twenty two, I would win by eleven. This is a guy. You gonna be a minister? Then a husband came to our house. Then a husband came to our house, and Pat's a list. Listen to Dana, what he's saying. We call Mrs. Shaw, Mary, and Chen Kanda. A lawyer, she ex has that explain what they tell about. She, she said, guy, you don't, need a, you don't need a big lawyer. You could go and handle a case. It's a simple case. Everywhere in the world that I know, ballot papers are white. Where they come? So how's that explain what the blue the tenor about? If your name was on the list. How's that getting there, my friend, man. Remember how's it was St. John's? Me no, but how has that getting there, seven? Sir, you know I have a post of his box. Has for, here it is here. You know I have a post of his box. Wait, never ask that. 
house that was for the other side, yes? House that had won his seat. He was a lawyer. Maybe he was a lawyer. Slow down. Hmm. Was he a politician too? Donald? Yes, at the same time. He, he was a politician. Did he, was he win his seat? No, no, no. He was not. He, he, he lost. Maybe Hendy was the. I am. I'm asking. Yeah. Now so Hendy he beat him. He didn't win his seat. Yeah. Because Hendy beat him. Yeah. Good. So you were back then. So left. his party would have gotten your seat through. Is who had run against you? Not, not Moses. Moses, right? My friend, not Good. Moses. So and not Chester, Moses. And Chester Ramsey. So not Moses won the seat. <clears throat> yes. Not. I tell how you how you won the seat. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Not won the seat. Yeah. And Donald Hall said, "Come." for help you overturn that yes Donald only, and my wife only, told me Donald. follow Donald and Donnie told me when which one your wife today follow Donald my present wife Pat yeah she didn't have to tell wait no Donald Donald, Donald. Do here no here no <laughs> Donnie told me that when Donald was dying the, the weekend mm -hmm. the Tuesday when they see him mm -hmm. and he said one thing he vexed he said guy let me down you didn't follow through no, because let's say, guy, you you won't be minister. Me about minister, so me glad to be minister. So you take the senatorship for be minister, yes. as opposed to going in your own. Go, life. Yeah, because me do win, me do go court and judge bench. When all is tell me, I'm a fool. You just take out the twenty two ballots, I would win by eleven. You, you wouldn't need to come. Take out the blue paper, the tendered ballot. You, you know what the tendered ballot is? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many you, times did you run? Twice. You won the second time. Boy, I'm getting massacred. Boy, Jackie Neal killed me. <laughs> My friend Jack nearly killed me. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm I got massacred. Ladies after and gentlemen, that, after my that, apologies. I'm getting too relaxed. Let me straighten back. After that. So the first time the you ran, you ran against Nat Moses. Nat Moses, yes. And you, you came close. Yes. I could have won if I had gone to the court. The, 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 yes. the, but here the joke. But you didn't go through. So you wait, let me tell you. When I finish, Peter Wang. Wait, the Alpine people. Wait, the Alpine Peter people Wang brought me. A letter from Hal said, I thought it was a letter. Petra did a joke, Clement Bird is a lawyer. He still have the file. He said, when you want a joke, you, you, you Donald send me a bill, a three-page bill. <laughs> Not a bill. Three pages. And he cursed Lester, Asset, and Veerbird from page one to page two and page three. He said, for being with the expletive. He typed it too. You know, he, he typed it. God, you know, he, said, be, he said, I have $175,000 for him. What? Wow. Because my fool, my letty donkey, you want to win it over. But didn't you have another lawyer? Wait, now, wait, now, Jack. Here, now, here, now, Jack. Here, now, here, now. Donald, so I call him. Some said, Donald, where you want to get you? I'm going to get 170,000 grain of sand. He said, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to chop you up. I'm going to see you. You know, we'd expect it. Warm up. Money. Hold on. Tell me about the campaign over that election. You went house to house. Yes, house you to house. You and Nat, apparently, were friends. Nat and I were friends, yeah. Basco, so, Basco said that. Too lazy man, because I want to cost somebody call me not. Not is my friend up to now. He he called me not too lazy man because we don't curse. Me not not cost me not a friend. But Chester people, and I are friends too. People are friends and they well, curse. Well, no one well, for politics. Ah, we don't know what me not. There are other people who curse. Who, for who you, who curse in yeah. Oh, okay. I never curse Jackie. When we said Jackie, no, 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 I'm yeah, saying, you know, you know. So let me see if I get this right. So you and Nat are campaigning. Yeah. And you're all around in this love fest. Listen Because I hear it was a love fest, right now. Not to me, friend. Not mother <laughs> when the... Is election is he campaigning? Ca is he calling the work here? Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, Benny, he had a stint up in the prison. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came out, get Ben, and the... They were taking up my poster from all about the place mm -hmm. and calling them up on, on a thing up there, up in Pigat. Mm -hmm. And Ben had a sharp cutlass. And man tell you, Colin, if you come down and chop a guy post, I'm going to chop off your foot clean. <laughs> the same Colin. My friend, Colin yeah. Cowdery. Yeah. Colin Brown, my friend, Colin Cowdery. Mm. And Ben tell him so. Ginger and all of us, me tell him, we have fun, but you know, Mrs. Francis just tell him, leave the man post alone. There's enough thing on the post. For everybody. For, for no, everybody. No, 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 I, I don't want to see your post. I want I want to see my post. No, but but she should she see my red face and look at the thing and just say not and so, just Chester. So you so you 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 lost but you became minister of yes. youth and sports. Youth empowerment. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Great experience. Mm -hmm. Great experience. I had some good people working with me. Mm -hmm. They are the take with my peers in them. The first one I had was Mr. Harris. And they had a, a vacancy as Sam Harris. I would, I don't want to see you go, but Mr. Harris, Whitfield, the current financial. Yes, advisor. I said take the job, okay, okay, take okay. the job. Mm -hmm. Then they had Lana Simon mm -hmm. came there, electoral, and and 
No, she was she, she, she went to work in Malvin. Oh, okay. In between, tourism. Between me, you should know. I forgot. No, but Lana and Sylvie, nobody said that. They eh? might hold, hold against her now, late. So no, 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 no. No, she didn't want to go. You know, she they, 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 they used to enjoy working with me. Mm-hmm. Mr. Edwards, mm-hmm. my friend up to today, up to Sunday, part of me, I bring egg. I pay for my egg and them, by the way. He bring eggs and them, Mr. Edwards. I'll, and you, you, you know who was a, who was PS for me too? For PS, Mr. Henry. Mm-hmm. Alice, Alice Henry. Alice Henry? Yeah. Okay. I love the PS's, man. Mm-hmm. Remember one of them had information and I had a great Tanny Rose. Tanny Rose and saw me. Mm-hmm. Tanny Rose and what girl I didn't uh, I didn't hear what there was her name Maxine. She know Maxine, you know? she's 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 off island. Oh, she'll be back soon. Maxine. Mm-hmm. When Maxine had a thing to go to to, to on a course. We got word that she was going to it and wanted to come to work for Stanford. She, she goes on vacation. And I said to Tanya, Mr Mr. Henry. Tiny your man believe in education and my present wife tell me, don't stand in the way of anybody like with education. Yeah. Let her go. But, but you know, Petra, remember when you were up there when we were in, when she made a barn? Mm-hmm. used to come by Gettysburg. Okay? So, so we go way back in, Petra. You, you're part and so. Anyway. And remember, I go back even before Pat, right? Right. <laughs> my lesbian, my, le- yeah, my les- lesbian, the bag you have with Lesbian mother. Okay. Your mother is lesbian godmother. Leslie mother is your godmother. So I know you're Petra. I hear they call it Petra. Sometime, I am Petra. You sometime, and, listen, you and Chris can take that up. We're not in the mood for that today. Sometime Let us stick to the topic. Anyway, <laughs> anyway so remember call it Petra, Petra, whatever. Yes, yeah. I know. For anyway, years he's been doing that. So when, when, the time, when the time came, I told him, give the girl the, 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 that give her the scholarship. Course, yes. When she was up, she wrote a letter that she wanted a year leave. Mm-hmm. I tell him, Zerman, Tani, they said, Tani, you are the the, the labor man. You're the labor man. You deal that with Alice. Because I ever do it, I don't know if Tanya, you, you not listen to me now. I said, no, I wanted her to go. Cause you, Tanya wanted her to go because Tanya believe it. Send away all the people and them go do that. Yes, yeah, so well, Tanya did, did yeah. a lot of investment. A lot of them, a lot of them, yeah. So he, so, she left her job. But she never, she never held it against me. Okay. She so never. tell she, me she, now, like changing you again now, back into the politics. Yeah. We have to pivot soon again. Yeah. Tell me about <coughs> how Jackie managed to bang you so bad. Listen to me. Lester caused it. What the heck? Lester, I'm, I'm, I'm telling so you first, now. Lester, make you miss your Lis- yeah, yeah, Listen yeah, to me. Yeah. Listen to me. I tell him now. I'm going to write it behind him. He behind me to write a book now. I don't have the, 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 the 12 cassette tape and the tape recorder now. So you go transcribe that. How many Pat and you and Sugar do work, man. Uh-huh. Pat, Let me tell you something. I don't, I, when I find the name, uh-huh. I, I tell him, boss, I, I love Lester like a father. Mm-hmm. He was like a father. Still is. But it's Lester's fault. Why are you losing Jackie? Tell yeah, me man. how that possible. Lester, go up. You can talk. Lester, go up. You can tell you. Get up and get up and do, do some work. Them here with boys. Something happened to you and Robin. Mm-hmm. Here with boys. That was a Saturday night. Mm-hmm. And the Sunday, balling and them had a, a meeting. And and. Ball and tell Jackie, hey, use them thing that less the guys my friends are balling. But did, use them. It's Why? politics. Yeah, Jackie didn't kill me with that boy. So how was guy, the, how was the campaign? She was nice. She, she said, Guy's my friend. But even though he win, Lesser they're gonna make him no minister, he's not gonna be the minister again. So how how you all gonna put him back there? But but you and are but you were <coughs> from the constituency. You raise up in Potters, you have the public listen, people, listen you have the freela name. What went wrong? I, I, I lost in Barnsley, a new job. She had family from there. Yes, that is true. That is the, the, the so, she, so you were in your area. Yeah. And she and she slaughtered you in, in your her area. Oh, yeah. Because she slaughtered you, get slaughtered. Not slaughtered, murder. She murdered me. So then what did you do? And what were your views on politics after that? Uh, no, after that, I... I, I, I what should I have on? My red till my dead. That Hear is, me? That is a washout red. No, no. Well, no, man. This is kind of summer. Red. It's a different I hold it when we got down to Vivi. Vivi had the most red in the world. Yes. Here, you know? We know how your red feel. No. But after that, you left active politics. Yes. Mm-hmm. I had a choice. Mm-hmm. My wife's the guy. Even though you're not in politics, the people still come here. Mm-hmm. And the money people owe me money after politics. I just write it off the so bad debt. So Pat put down her foot? Pat, tell me, after make a choice, she had she the politics. Good part, good parts. And you know what I mean? But I still I'm still a 
Labour Labour Party supporter. Yes, me not because he won't say anything against Labour Party because me. Yeah, you, you know that. I get the message and them. And the boss, as you said, I'm close to the boss. The boss and I were side by side. I remember after they were going to make Jeremy Day means of information so he can get his salary. I said to the PM, I said, PM, I said, PM, little more gas and then I going to fall off the, off the table. Because they the keep pushing y'all out. I hear the Germany coming above. He said, no, no, no. Germany going to sit below you. So I, 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 I said, thank you, sir. But so he said, below you. So where was... Uh, yes, I was here and I was here. Mr. Stevens was here. <laughs> okay. And Germany came and said, Mr. Stevens, he's down. All right. One more question <coughs> as it relates to the, the but politics. Wait. Mm -hmm. With the politics. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I, I used to enjoy the politics. I used to, I, I used to enjoy it. Yeah, but what, okay. what? Because of some big and Tim Hector warned me. Tim Hector warned me. He said, "Guy, I live up, I live up in Potters, married and live up. It's a big constituency, mm -hmm. and it's pigots, yeah, painters, you know, uh, Carlisle spread wide and far. But you know, when I know that Dino is going to win, when I saw a man who is so that got some lands for." And we go to camp him by him. He, he has some ordinary brindle dog. He like the dog and the, the, the dog. In other words, I'm coming in place. Exactly. Right. Had about seven votes in the thing. Mm -hmm. And when they see him have on Dean shirt. You know, you know, you know. Dean, you're gone home and dry. Okay. Mr. Dean, you're gone home and dry. You, 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 you're set. You know, but the people out there, you use it like me, you know. But maybe I was too, I was too naive and too trusting. Mm. Petra, I trust people. When I trust you and you let me down, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. I'm a fair trusting enough, person. Fair enough, fair enough. But no, but Lester wanted me to, still want me to write a book. But I tell him two things I have to put in there. Two things I have to put in there. When Dr. Ramson Moore told us in 1973, mm -hmm. in a meeting, Hillary was right there too. Let me call a snap election, Gaston Brown, what Gaston did. Lester agreed. And you can talk to Ron Sanders. Oh, Lord, murder. I'll get blocked. With election was supposed to be called right after independence. That's when UPP won. When UPP won. Yes. Lester, no, let, me, let me help you. Lester legged the ball, let dropped the ball. You. No, no, let me help you. He dropped the ball. Nothing was going to save LP the election. Who that? Nothing. If I'm going to have election November 73? Oh, 73. Yes, oh, you're, talking about, in, oh you're talking about way, way back then. Listen no, to not me. 73. No, no, 93, sorry. 2003, 2003 to, sorry, sorry, right, 2003. 2003 right. 2004, I'll get blood in November, Nothing. December, Nothing. January, February, April, six months of blood. Nothing. If, look, we kept them with the pants down like a like girl got them, kept them. To Listen to me. 2003, if we less had called the election right after independence, dissolve parliament, we would have won the election. Nothing. Was but let's the listen to the great Ron Sanders. Anyways, you listen to Ron Sanders. You want to write the book? Make write the book. You and I are gonna have someone do the book. And, uh, uh, listen, and my wife. We don't do enough writing for two years. Okay? Just the name. <laughs> you, you, you go on with sports, culture, mm -hmm. and politics. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, boss. I love the man bad, mm -hmm. but I have to get things off my chest. Get get things off your chest. Yeah, I look that that sudden that everybody was so disappointed in Leicester. When they write, write about Potters there on, on, on the other side, when he said, Guy couldn't do some work. Mm -hmm. and, um, so Jackie, Jackie was right. Jackie said, Well, here we say, he, he, Let's say, mean that he's lazy. You know what I mean? So. Okay. But the, 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 Jackie and I still talk and say, I mean, she, We embrace each other and so, you know what I mean? You know? I never held it against her because she, she got father for the canon. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to We Are The Ones. You know it's We Are The Ones Wednesday. And my guest today is Guy, a man for all seasons. Yeah, well, that's what I call him. He has plenty other nicknames from many people because he has impacted on so many lives. We, we started out looking at his early years. Then we went into a snippet of his cricket in life. And we only got to do a snippet because of the time that we have with Guy today. It's only two hours. And good afternoon, Kimal Harrigan. Yeah, I know you go on part two. Leave me alone. So, and then we just concluded looking briefly at his politics. And, you know, his he was a candidate and he has served in the cabinet of Antigua and Barbuda and he has been a minister and so on. Senate so, too. 
Now we are going to pivot again, but we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to talk. I know cricket is his first love, but I think this one is his life. I don't know. I don't know how we can work this out. We're going to talk Guy and Carnival and Calypso and all of those things. And then we will give him the opportunity to do some wrap up on a few of those issues. Um, we go for a break and we'll be right back. To wear the ones on point i with your host Petra Williams and in here with me is Guy Yao and I we open segment with a quick reflection on Queen Mona Princess every S guy you know guy you know can't lift point you know that shot shot Taya who has been enough on the Cups arena and of course you know that you also work with Althea guy tell me I don't know where to start we start in Calypso or do we start in Carnival? And I say that because you mentioned earlier that it's since in the 70s that you've been involved in Carnival. Yep. You were a judge. 69. See, there you go. From 1969, you were involved in our national festival. Give us some, 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 some of what you've done with our festival. We know we don't have time to look at everything, okay. but tell us. When I became the, when I became the minister, before he became the minister, he was chairman of CDC. CDC. I have to, I have to put yeah, that on yeah, the record. Right. Go ahead. Before I became the minister, I I came up with my idea because Ernie Matong was a chairperson mm -hmm. before. And I remember Lester said to me that he wanted me to be the owner of Carnival. And he would like me to. I said, Ernie is my very good friend. But two Barats can live in the same hole. Wait, she asked for me by that. I say, she's a woman barat and I'm a man barat. A man trying a woman. He she and I are good friend. You can leave her there. That was a Monday night. She, he called me out of his house when he wanted me. So I say, well, the Wednesday he called me, he called me up. Okay. So all the time, me don't have my plan and program now without the, all the different different subcommittees. As early as I was running the thing like. I like a dictator, and I didn't care, but you, you know, you're part of it. Had the Queen's Committee for Carnival and Kit and Caboodle. I took minutes. Tired, yeah, Kit and I, Petra, Kit and Caboodle. Miss Clark. I'll tell you now. Miss Clark, I remember Petra, I remember Miss Clark. Wanda. Wanda. Mm -hmm. Every time she see me, up to now, she called me the best kind of minister. Up to now, she called me. I remember my friend Martin Ezra mm -hmm. called me the guy. Hoping I can appoint thing. I said, Mr. Martin, you're my good friend. I respect you. I have a lot of respect for you. She comes over here between 12 and 1. She goes before 1 o'clock. She comes back 4 to work. She work and thing. And then suddenly she doesn't work. So she has, I am going to reappoint her. And Margaret Messiah. Mm -hmm. 
as a deputy, I said, put yeah, I'll pick all other five persons to, to be in my committee. It's so I say function. Tell you, Petra, you, you're the chairman, you have somebody, you pick a people. I want them to pick a people. Here, tell them, I want people to do my work. Because when they put the people, I remember one time, Minister Joseph came and said he, he wanted some people from his constituency to be on an, an committee. I said, Mr. Joseph, it's tickets I want, I don't want to work. I said, next week you come, go tell me. He came and said, okay, I can give you the six tickets, the, the VIP tickets. Because yeah, I, I, I don't want to work. They don't want to work. I, I want people to do my work. I want to, I want to look good. And I remember Baldwin Spencer, he told me that he liked it. Some of the changes, Mr. Spencer. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was the first that started giving all elected people and unelected tickets. Yeah, I remember when Charles, and Charles, Charles and then I knew Charles was well, because Charles was at Potter's Church, Pilgrim, Pilgrim Church, just down the road from us. I used to cut his hair. Mm -hmm. And I used to cut his hair. Yeah, Charles was there, but when he had here, he said, when he, Of course, Barbara was my big trade. Okay, guy, go ahead. Yeah. And I used to Mr. D Mr. D up now his wife and I are very good friends. M Mr. Samuel, very good friend. Okay, Mr. Mr. Wait, Mr. So, so when when Canval time come, Brother B and everybody, Brother B sent, would send for tickets. I think Brother B was a senator. Where you were? No, 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 he had one seat. He came and said, Charles, I said, they give him the tickets. I get VIP tickets, make six. Charles would send somebody after and say that, I said, he said, guy, don't give money. Too. I had to go find tickets. I mean, I look out to you. Even, even, even Harold Lovell. Harold Lovell does get his VIP tickets taken to him with Watley. And he come by my yard and he take what he want. You know what I found the other day? What? Minutes of about three meetings that we did. He had to, he, he, Petra. Mm. And, 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 and he came, he used to come by my yard and he get his actual tickets. I used to treat them good, balling all of them. So you did carnival? Yes. And then you... When you were Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs, Carnival was still under you. Yes. And so you worked along with the chairman at the time. Right. Who were the chairmen that you have? I had the, I had the first one was Clement, Clement Bird, Bird for two years. Yes. And by the way, Rod Hill wife and Clement revised steel ban. Come on, come here. From two to, no, 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 2000 right up to now. So you had Clement Bird. Clement Bird, 1999 and 90. Then they met you, Coleman, and they, yes. and they, Rod, every time you see Mrs. Still, Hill, you still had me working. So right, you had two thousand right up. And then you had he was there for two years. Then had Arthur, Arthur Thomas, Thomas I was, for one. Yes. And I think I think Chet was the last two. Mm -hmm. Now um, Chet was the last two. I mentioned that because one of the things that you did with your committees then is that you actually had a lot of young people on your committees. That's what they wanted. And you had a lot of young people even as chairs of committees. Especially you know what they like okay. when I got Doctor Bishop Reese. Mm -hmm. To come and say <laughs> prayers, <laughs> to come and say prayers on the Sunday night of the Catholic competition. competition yes. And he used to pray that the judges do the work. And Bishop Reese was coming. The, those days they had v VIP. Mm -hmm. I had, Lester had his box. box. Mm -hmm, I never had no box for myself. He had the VIP. I with all the food. And Bishop Reese had his seat. And he come. And I said to tell Annette, was my consultant. I said, Annette, remember we have to fix a Bishop Reese. He, because Monday and Tuesday, he won his patty and his seasoned rice and different... I'm just going to repeat for you. Yeah. I know you mentioned Bishop Reese. That yeah. One of the things that I recall for you, and that is important because mm. I don't think we do enough of that today, is that you gave a lot of... You and your chairman gave a lot of young people the opportunity to run with things and to lead. Yes. So I want to put that on the record. Yes. Well, well, well I'm glad. I allow people to function. Right. So now we move on again. Still in the Calypso and the can. Yes. No, we're going now to Calypso. Calypso. Yes, because Calypso is something that you are very, very, very strong on. Let Who me do the something. first person you wrote for, guy? Okay? Listen, the first person I wrote for was Lord Ambassador. Paul, this ambassador, man, his, his daughter wanna, was one of the early f female queens. What, what did Lord Ambassador sing? No, I wasn't daughter yet. What a name, Colum what a name within the Columbus game. Remember that song? No. I wrote it to him. What a name within the Columbus game. Good. Okay. Yeah. And who else you wrote for? Oh, no, well, he was the first. Right. And I started writing for all kind of people. Give me some example. Give listen us, share me. with us some people. Listen to me. The, the other day, uh, I was going to show a file. Because he left the file on them, you know. So, so I remember. Pat, sorry for you. Eh? I tell him, Pat, I'm sorry for you. No, no, Pat. Pat, you look over there. When I say I'm doing Calypso, and I leave the Pat, 
and then next morning, I see it in the garbage. She said, I'm trouble in the right She's trouble in the right hand. Good, Pat, good. <laughs> She's not there for real. She, I don't know what I'm saying. trouble in the right hand. She's trouble in the garbage. Okay. So, me know that, so mm -hmm. I know that all. You come with good lyrics. Because she like good, she like good lyrics. Okay. You know, she like good lyrics. So, she, who so, you, so you, were tell, you were about to tell us something that you wrote for? I, I so work with Altea, I so work with Douglas, mm -hmm. so work with Progress. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I want people to know this. Two people, I, I do all them work with all them people and never ask for money, I, 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 I took money. Mm -hmm. So I go and beg money to help. The only two persons who get money from, Progress, when he one day, when he one day. The competition. No, he won the thing in, 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 in New York. Oh, the Sunshine Music Award. He, he beat out Chagras. And yes, Coco for the best social company, mm -hmm. heaven help us all. Right. And when West Ham was playing against South Africa in 1992, I was down there with the, with the godmother. Uh, Mary. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he sent me a uh, thank you card, and he sent me 1,200 US. But before that, 1986, the mona gave me, when, he, when, when the mona got his, his, his contract with bees, he gave me 5,000 US. I used to go over. I, I, the ticket and, and them are free because I, I work with them ticket. I said, I'm going to put my mouth. Right. So I know the big ticket. And I tell them I want MR, must ride ticket. Mm -hmm. I don't want a sub load ticket. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and the only two persons I get things from. For all the years? Monarch. Uh -huh. 5,000 US. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got mother gone, taking them by the furniture for the spare room. In, in the Some of them are uh, on my shows right now in Patters. Here? Listen. And and Progress gave me 1,200, sent me 1,200 US. I never asked anybody for no money, take, take money from anybody. But you have invested a lot into yeah. the art. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love Calypso. And you will nag people forever to yes. invest into your art. Yes. Artists. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, men, I'm not around. women dress wonderfully. I'm not around them to, to think. I mean, I, I was a little disappointed in Altier. Why? Altier gave Eddie Melody crown 2006. Did she? She left out the she left out the yeah, bridge. She, 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 didn't she left out the bridge in the night. You thought that listen thought me. That she had done that. Listen to me. When we had the semi final, Jagger left out the bridge purposely uh, Jagger ran that song. Mm -hmm. Juni did the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's not Moses gave me the idea for the other one no. Mm -hmm. Not Moses. And Darwin gave me the idea. Say all them boys some somebody need to attack Ivy now. Darwin no mad. He don't know he gave me the idea. And I went up to chat. She uh, writes, she writes. Writer, when you we, write, you write no, no, that. No, no. That, that was Rose's idea. Okay. Alte Mother. Alte Mother's came idea. Like, Here's okay. a guy. So who wrote that? Wait. Grant. Grant did oh, it for okay, me. Okay. I sent up the information. Mm -hmm. See, uh, what I do when I send the information. Mm -hmm. When I come back home, I have to put my pen in it. Okay. All right. Is it the same song that Taylor sing? Mm -hmm. if, I sh if I show you the original lyrics, GB come with something different. And me, yeah, me doctor. Even the one that she did the last song there. Calypso, mm -hmm. my sweet Calypso. My sweet Calypso. I so I can show you the trouble that Jubilee sent give me. Beautiful. Song. I had the main part, main part. You wrote for I I never really write. I should touch up stuff and so on because you know yeah, Shelly. Right. And you know Humphrey and so on with the ending Humphrey and so on. Mm -hmm. believe in me, cause you know I was, I was good on lyrics. So what you touch up? When I heard one song the last with Dansky, mm -hmm. Dansky song. I, I don't know which one was that. The, the, the one with early. Smoke and Joy, your, your national hero. And oh, yes. I know what you're talking about. Right. Okay. Yes. Me and Dansky and... Uh, what the girlfriend showed her name again? All of the... You, you touch up everybody. You touch up Soka too. You touch up Groovy too. No, no, no. No, but Dansky was... A, that was a Calypso. I'm Calypso. Sure. The young lady that used to back him up? No, the girl... Uh, oh, the, the, oh, she's showing her grandma. She sing well. Sister Virtue. Sister Virtue, right. That's what I remember. Sister Virtue. Yes, and Jagger. She came with the idea. says, Guy, the, the thing could... This thing could take a night little tag, you know. But only one thing she come with I'm saying no man on the train that train that idea I said I will use antique phrase. Smoking Joe, you know, because I'm gonna call my partner, smoking Joe, you're a national hero and that knows um pull it like jiggle. Oh, and then, going back to that. No, 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 no. I'm oh, telling you how the sun came last night. Right, how the sun came around. Oh, is 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 sister virtue came up with the idea, wanted to give me some I said, no no, 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 no train that phrase, man. Okay. I used to work with people like Plastic Bag. Alti, Alti had some good writers plastic writing. Bag. Red From plastic Barbados, 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 yes. That's my guy. I like him. Plastic Bag used to write like songs and songs. Alti, mm -hmm. Alti, the, the, the best yeah. Alti, the yeah. best Alti was around me. But They're Rose, 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 yeah, it's true. 2004, 2005. But here's the joke. 2004 and 5, she should have won. Just saying. Rose, Rose came up with a writer's idea. Mm -hmm. 
road. Just like Young Destroyer mother came up with the one with the with the jail thing. You work with Young Destroyer as well? Yeah, and Miss Jacob came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Jacob. So this you is work right. with everybody that came the, 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 the one, the queen of my heart, mm -hmm. you know, that came around. That's a beautiful song. He wrote me a letter. And I called Asad. And I said, I can't give Asad. And then Asad called me. Me Asad saw one crying on the floor. <laughs> His mother was sick. And when he wrote it, and he wrote it himself. And me Asad thing, Asad said, guy. And I called Grand. Grand said, guy, send it to me, man. And I said, nothing with my brother, Elvis. Mm -hmm. And he came up with the song. And uh, he should have only come the year. I have a question. They, they, they gave the count to my friend zero. I keep it out. Young destroyer is one. Young destroyer, you know what? I'm going to do a session on Calypso. I'll bring you back for that. You have a little bit man. Uh, Listen to me. me. Look, I have, I could speak about football. I'm nearly time and I want to touch football yet. We're not touching football today. I tell you. I no, no, no. Snippets. I brought South Dam the football team well, here. I was going to go to that. that is Please to come in. Ruben Harris, the, the great. Give me two yeah, minutes and yeah, we wrap yeah. the clip so mm. and then we go to that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> would it be safe to say that you have invested serious resources? Your, not only your time, money, but of your financial resources. I'm going to beg and beg. Beg. You go and beg, but in addition to begging, sometimes you go, go in your pocket. Oh, for plenty of time. Go, go in a part shop pocket. Plenty of time. Go in a part accounting money pocket. Yeah, when part, when part go and look. Does it major part of all the for part? When part look and see that all the money I was sending out, Trinidad and so with Western Union and so on. Yeah, but a lot. But you know, that would not be, I don't drink. Why? I don't smoke. So that is your, that is your love. That is your, my love that's eat. your passion. Yes, that, that, that's my passion. Do you regret it? Your involvement? I love it. So? I love it. You continue to do it? The other day on Sparrow birthday, I called Kenny and I was telling Kelly, I have a book with Sparrow with 200 something cultures for Sparrow. Whenever Mr. Pump, he wanted to check, check lyrics with Sparrow, he, 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 he called me. I have, I have a book. Pump with them long, long, me, right? No, no, he write this stuff, but when he wanted to, 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 to call Calypso, mm -hmm. call, call okay. okay. but let me tell something quickly. So, yeah. I, I, I have to touch up. If Alti had listened the night, she, when we had the semifinals, she left her the bridge. Deliberately. The, 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 yeah, the Monday night, we charm the bridge, and we blow our vena. When the Aldi thing, I go hug up my vena, I don't slap across my face for my vena. <laughs> Here, best say, where, where you slap the man for? The guy man look after you. When they come, go want to beg money, me can call her, they can ask her, so I call them people who know would give them, I'll like get 400, 500. So you support that vena too? I just helped beg, when I was a minister, I was involved in the thing in th <laughs> those days. You know what I mean? So, I go hug her, but she hit me a slap. She had a sting. She had a sting me. Passion, you know. Eh? Them, them two women um, have some passion. Best, best say, why not go over? You're the man of friend. When you want to take it, you just go up in the man's office, you know. But, but you know, I even put my name in about eight. And the, the last song they did there, he said, Gas and Brown and Guy, yeah, the two said that nice in it. In the second verse, check this down. She owe you. She, eh? she she clearly didn't f doesn't feel as good about you as you felt about her. But no, that's not hers. Who was who was right? No, no, it's best. It's best, yeah. It's no, so it's best no, no, no. The last one was Koblai. Oh, make sure you tell Koblai why you don't say out in the sea when you go look Kongs and tell the one thing. All right, so guys, <laughs> as we pivot into our final news, yes, dear. ladies and gentlemen. But let's move it wait before go. Been, we're but, not leaving yet. Hold mm, on, yeah. I go work oh, sorry, with you. Sorry, sorry, with you. It's all right. It's all right. It's you. You know how it is. You can do me as you like. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to We're the Ones on Point FM if you've just joined us, and we have been having a very fascinating afternoon learning the history of Potters through Guy's eyes, learning about his contribution and involvement in cricket, his involvement in politics, his involvement in the arts, carnival, and of course his love, Calypso. So as we go down the back end of this, and we're looking to wrap up, I want to give Guy three an opportunity to, to touch on a couple of things. One, I know that he was, we know of Guy's involvement in cricket, but I'm not sure many of us know of Guy's involvement in sports, tourism, and some of the contributions he would have made to to our economy, to, to ensuring that our economy continues to take over. Guy, tell us about your um, the team that you brought in. Petra, one of the things that I have to speak about is when Southampton football team came here in 1978. 19 what? 78. Go ahead. 1978. Mm -hmm. I was in England playing cricket, and... Jackie Jalton died just the other day. He, the other, a course of the, I love football more than cricket. And it was at Sunderland Grammar School. 
and Larry McMenemy, who was the South Dominican, he was the man when England won the only World Cup. He was the brain behind Sir Alf Ramsey, mm -hmm. tall guy. Okay. And we spoke the, the same year they won the, the, they won the FA Cup, the big man United won nil. Mm -hmm. And I tell them that I'm going back home. In 78, I'm, I'll be home. I'm going to try and get them to come down there. Mm -hmm. And Ruben Harris was the Minister of Finance. And my friend Lazarus tell me, go and speak to Ruben. You and Ruben, good. Mm -hmm. Ruben invited him by his house on Navy Street, and St. Mary Street, mm -hmm. come upstairs. And I put the idea to him. And he said, oh, he said okay, guy, put something in, in writing to me. And it, when he, fin he called Brian Gonzalez. He said, Brian, Guy and I have a, have a big thing that we're going to do. You're not going to lose no money, but you're going to get the money, Hawks and Herons. We're going to put the people at the Beachcomb Hotel. He said, let me tell you something. Those white guys, they, they love to drink. We're going to beg Mr. Wall, who's to play football, he's to work at the anti Distillery, mm -hmm. for cases of liquor and stuff for them. The, the liquor we will keep there. When they, when they come to eat the night, I've done eat, kick on the room. Then I'm going to wake up for the breakfast. Then I'm going to wake up for the lunch. When I get up, we get on the hamburger because I have to go practice. practice right. mm -hmm. We sent Harrigan to Dominica to get the, the, the thing and so on. They played two games here. If Mervyn was a little younger and he was playing World Cup football, Mervyn would have gone. Uh, and I got, he was the man of the match twice. Okay. Mervyn and Richard. But Ruben Harris, we had a thing set up. Ramon M Matthew. He was in charge of the bus. Skeppel and another guy from thing where the two bus drivers. Brown was in charge of entertainment and I was in charge of other things. Fitzroy Brown had died. Mm -hmm. And Ruben, we, were, we, we had a, a smooth thing. Ruben was the was man and he, he gave me the assurance and he, he delivered. We didn't owe anybody. Mr. Fanfield. So who, how come we didn't continue that? Wait, well, rugby tried to stop it, man. Rugby like my friend. And Larry McMahon, they tell me, no worry, he can't he can stop it. They came down here and they had to do a coaching session, two coaching sessions. And the late Pinhulet arranged the coaching session at 2 o'clock. The man said, 2 o'clock is too hot in Antigua. Then guys want to go on the beach there. Well, of course. Anyway, when we went on 2 o'clock, Pin had to go work. And Larry was running the practice. Pin came and Pin ran in the field. And I tell you, he gets some French in, from an Englishman. <laughs> I felt just every Pin. The man drive him, drive him off in French in lang French language. You, you know, get you know off the field. I said, Pin, you can't do them them guys. He was pissed off. He didn't want to come to you. He wanted to come at four o'clock. You said two. The next time, the next day, Pin was there. Two two sessions for free. That was part of the deal. Okay. They didn't want no money from us. They, he didn't cost it. We didn't have to pay them. They they loved it. The lobster. And they get you know they get. So th but that sounds like th this is gonna lead me to ask you a question. But I'll say he's supposed to come and see me to tell me how it was done. I get kept. And let me tell you, we got a, a lovely mahogany trophy shaped, shaped like Antigua, built by Sean the Cardinal and brother. Mm -hmm. Wonderful sculptures. Mm -hmm. Put on the Antigua flag, the coat of arm in India, and the, the thing and so on. Wonderful. It's still in the Southampton trophy, oh, nice. trophy in England. So then Look, here's my question to you then, guy. It costs us $5,000. Them days, 90 cents or something. To bring them here? No! The, 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 the trophy. What? $5,000. We, we had to pay the guy. Remember, he used to go to the market right. and pay the guy. So here's and me, my question. He then. told me he was doing us a deal. Sean, I can't remember his name. Sean, the content brother. I think it's Miles. Yeah. Right. So here's my question. We did that in 78. Yes. In, in the pack, the two games. Pack like carnival. Right. So, what? why, why did we not try to continue even not with that team with other teams Petra, to me that sounds like a good sports tourism element Petra when you hear Lester Bird Leo Go and them are running the Antigua cricket when teams coming from Jamaica the Trinidad and Ireland there's a staff in Antigua and play two day games okay teams from Australia come down the two day matches so what happened from, eh? so what happened those guys Lester and Tim Hutt and those guys and Leo Go and them are creative okay so what happened well after that, right. thing fell down. So here's my thing now. The other thing I want you to Anyway, mention. Clive Lyde always say he blame Wes Hall and Guy Yard for, for wasting this cricket. Because I was two of us, to actually was two of us are not politicians and we go go get involved in politics. We are oh, y'all left cricket and go to politics. That's what ah, he said. I Remember see. when they came in, 19, 
after the Packer game, we had three days of three sessions here with with Gary Sobers, Clive Light, and uh, Clive Light, Lance Gibbs, Westall, and Gaio. We run fifty two guys up there, three days. So why? Reaching all those guys. So eh? why you left cricket? Eh? What was there? No money in it. No, remember I went to Canada. Oh, okay. So here's I my question. For I you. was involved. I was uh, I was involved in cricket in, in Canada. Canada. Mike Atherton and so they came to Bermuda with the yeah, with the team. I was in charge of the Canadian youth team. And then let, let me tell you, Petra, from Antigua, when I was the one man selector in Canada youth team, I was the one man selector. Jesus, Jean, those people you, you used to believe in me oh, for, for the youth for the youth team. I was a coach. I listen to me. I never charge him a dollar. So what Alex, you got out of it? Uh, here, he, Alex, them get work. Alex, I don't, your son. They, they, they had to come and pick me up on yeah. Saturdays and Sundays. Right. Me not drive in on the snow. And drive me home before quarter to seven. I'm here sports round up. When they have that thing, they give me a nice trophy. Then they want the money from them. Hear me? Because if I took money, I had to pay tax. I just travel around Canada. Here, no, no, Petra. When Alex went for a job, the man said, you know a man called Guy or Mr. Ali? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I'm very how well, and he's my father. Job is done. Alex said, Alex, get the job easy, easy, easy. So you're... He said, he said he's a guy, he... he's so your good will paid off. Yeah, he's not after money. He's not after money. No, I, I'm, I'm, you know, Petra, if I, if I pay a lot, I'll be rich. But, but I'm always a happy person. Next question for you. Yes. But Ruben Harris never got the credit. Mr. Saris, if you're listening, Philip... Your father deserved that. Okay. So you ready for my question? Now? Yes, 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 darling. And you own and I'm giving you a time or two. Yes. Because we over time. Yes, they're not. But these two are important. Yes, dear. What do you think of West Indies cricket today? You have two minutes. West Indies cricket? Yes. I hope we beat England tomorrow, but I have a, a bet with hey, my brother. We beat in England we tomorrow. Have a bet I have a bet with I have a bet with my brother in Elvis. He said we're getting two one. We win one and we're gonna lose it two. So I tell him, I tell him, I hope that we, I hope that we, we beat England. We beat in England. I'm well, speaking well, to be well, I hope so. But outside of that, what do you think of the cricket? The, the cricket is not the same. Of course not, Petra, Gary. From then to Petra, now, it can't be the same. Petra, when I used to coach, I'm not boasting and tired so when I used to coach. It's serious. It's no joke thing, you know. Vivian used to come there with a pummel Vivian, the great Vivian, you know. Vivi used to bat 78 minutes with 9 or 10 bowlers bowling. When only bowl, he bowled, he batted. Wait, wait, 78 minutes. With what? With 9 and 10 bowlers bowling. bowling. At him non yes, up at Sendon's ground. When he finished, he got Sendon's batting in the quarter past five. He bat again. Yeah. When he finished, he, 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 he <coughs> sorry, he goes up to Rising Sun and practice. Vivi just so swoop now. The great Vivi, but he was swoop. Vivi, the, this is why Vivi was so good. So I'm today. Them guys don't have the kind of a thing for that. So tell me about what about our, our our cricketers that are now in West Indies are looking to make West Indies. I'm talking about our Antiguan fellas. Do you think they have the stuff to to help to move us to the next level? We have Jimbo, yeah. Jimbo, Azari. Jimbo, yeah. So why Azari. they don't like, why they don't like Jimbo? Well, s somebody said the captain don't like Jimbo. I don't know. I hear so here they said the captain. I don't, I don't have to have a talk with my cute face. I, I hear they said the captain don't like Jimbo. I don't believe that. My cute face can't. Like Let me tell something, Petra. Petra, listen to me. Papa brothers have a saying when it's out of power around the decade, if something goes to something nearly goes to. Alright. I live uh, true upon that. True upon that. If something goes to something nearly goes to. Okay. And last one mm. Carnival and Calypso. Mm. Where are we in Antigua today? Well, to where we well, you see, I, I, I didn't get a chance to finish Taylor. One of the things that I, I like to work with Taylor, when Taylor come up by us, she wants to say, Big Boss, she call me. Big Boss, because Absent call me Boss, man. Charger call me Boss, man. So she call me Big Boss. She said, Big Boss, how am I going to score points? I had the lyrics. I have the judge and she's in front of the end. She wants to show, show me in the song how, how I'm going to score the points. That is the difference between she and Altia. She won for win. So outside of Althea, tell us about Calypso, your thoughts on 
because I am one of those people. People like to say that Calypso is dying. I think Calypso is just evolving. I don't think I don't think Calypso is dying. So what are your thoughts? I don't think Calypso is dying. I think I think that ABS need to play well. Brandel and and them try the best and Kenny and, and mm -hmm. so on. But it's not ABS alone. It's all of us. Eh? A lot of them. I believe that they. We need to get more. Yes, m more Calypso. Mm -hmm. We need to get our young people more. And I hope Daryl. Daryl seemed to have the right idea. Chet had it too. Mm. Chet was chairman for two years. And so he, he, and he, he loved Calypso. He still loved Calypso. Daryl has it in him that he will get it, get it moving. When the, when the COVID is over, well, I, I, I hope soon. And this COVID thing is wicked enough. No, no, it's very wicked. Petri, he said, I'm going to look fear. I'm afraid to go around the place. I'm mean, now I'm dead now. <laughs> so guy, parking shot. What's the one thing you would want us? One single. If you could only pick one. Because there's so many ways for us to remember, guy. What's the one thing you'd want us to remember? Guy, bye. As a as a an honest, happy go lucky person. Honest in like when they give him a word, my word is my band. That's what I mean. I'm, you know, yeah, I, no deal with the, I, get you. I deal with people honestly, and I'm gonna fool you and tell you what I want to hear. I remember, I remember, Father Bones used to tell us, okay. Father Bones said something at the time. Nothing, nothing hurts like the, like the truth. Mm -hmm. If you tell a, a good girl man is ugly, he laughs at you. If you tell a ugly man is ugly, he wants to kill you. Two days after me, where's them went down to answer an ugly bee? And say, ugly bee! He, he went up grammar school the next day to report us. You remember me and Wesley and so on. You remember the other guys? So we had to call all the other guys. So Father Bone asked him, what did they call you? He said, ask them. Father Bone said, what did they call you? He said, well, you ask them, man. He said, anyway, all I, I just said, you ugly. He said, Father Bone, what an ugly man. I know what you all call him. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget that. <laughs> Nothing here is like the truth. People don't like to hear the truth. Uh, ladies yeah? and gentlemen, on, <laughs> that, on that note, I would like to thank you, Guy, thank for you, not only joining me today, but I mean, I, I have to put this on the record that you gave young people a chance. I'm one of those young people that you gave a chance yes. to work in Carnival. You got me involved very early. <coughs> I have no clue Remember, you were like family, me. you know. Don't know how you came for me, but yes, you found me. Yeah. So I want to, on behalf of all the young people that you've worked with, all the young people that you've benefit, that benefited from your wisdom, your counsel, um, on behalf of all of us in cricket, in football, in, 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 in whatever sphere of life that guy has influenced us, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you. I wish you all the best, continued success in life. Sorry. <coughs> Please give Pat my regards and I sure they do that. I sure she listen to the program. This is where the ones, Peter Williams signing out. Good evening. All right. What a lovely sound. What a lovely sound. Point. Let's go. 99.1